Welcome sports fans, here we are at Board Gaming and have we got a treat for you today because we are going to be playing the uh, the tabletop simulator preview of Myth and Goal from Blacklist Games. And joining me is the one and only, the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Scotty Mick, Scott McFall from Blacklist Games. Scott, tell us about Myth and Goal and when it launches on Kickstarter. <laughs> hey, well, glad to be here, Mark. Uh, right, well, first off, Myth and Goal is launching on September 21st. So that is, uh, as of this recording, uh, this coming Tuesday. Wow, excellent. So not many days now, and uh, Scott has been kind of, kind of join me on this game. Obviously, ideally, I would have liked to have uh, done a solo playthrough, but the solo TTS mod isn't quite there. So just to give you guys an indication on how this game plays, we're going to play a two-player game with Scotty besting me, probably, at Myth and Cole. But uh, do rest assured, there is a solo mode that will be coming out in the Kickstarter, and there'll be more details released as the Kickstarter is launched there. So, Scotty, tell us a little bit about uh, Myth and Goal. Exactly what is it, and, uh, and how did the idea come about? Well, um, Myth and Goal is, as you can kind of tell from what you're looking at, it, it's a fantasy sports game. Um, it, it came about essentially um, from, uh, well, we got the designers, uh, James Hewitt and Sophie Williams, who make up uh, Needy Cat Games. You might know them from uh, Hellboy the Board Game. And, of course, uh, James's work on the um, uh, well, Blood Bowl and Blitz Bowl and Dread Ball. So he, he kind of knows his fantasy sports, uh, <laughs> if you will. Uh, so... We were talking with them, and we really wanted a a fantasy sports game that could appeal to um, you know people who may have thought that some of the other games that were released in the past were a little too you know uh, complex, convoluted, granular, however you want you want to call them. <laughs> but wanted something you know um, a bit more accessible, uh, but not as you know um, what the term people use is gateway as yeah. some other games. You know, yeah. something right in the middle. Um, and I think. They, they really really did a good job. Um, they, they created this awesome little game that has not only the excitement of, uh, you know, well, playing fantasy sports, but also you've got to manage your team's um, um, energy levels, if you will. Yeah. So you can keep pushing your players to really get those goals, but you might pay the price down the line <laughs> if you're not careful. You know, you got, you got to get them some, some rest time, you know? Brilliant. But either way, that's it. So we're really excited about it. Um, it's, it's a great game. It's fast playing. Um, it's got some great action. And uh, you, you'll recognize a lot of the the, the, the fantasy um, characters that, that you you know from various fantasy uh, you know uh, series out there. You've got orcs, you've got dwarves, you've got high elves. Uh, there's a couple of goblins and halflings here and there, and of course we've got some surprises. Uh, Excellent, <laughs> waiting to be revealed. <laughs> stretch goals. Make sure you back this to open those stretch goals. And uh, Scott and I have just played a little test game of this just so I can get more familiar with the rules and. You know, I'm not saying Scott's skills are bad. He couldn't score a goal from maybe two squares away. I scored a goal from four squares away. That's it. Let's call it not beginner's luck. I'm just a natural at this game. So um, so we're going to be playing with two teams. Uh, my team is going to be called the uh, Dernhold Anvils, basically. And they're a team of the uh, Dwarven race. And your team is called the... West Arch Ruffians. Yeah. Yes. Go West Arch. Hey. <laughs> so it's Dunnell versus West Arch. Is it West Arch or West Arch? Uh, yeah. um, I call it West Arch, but to be honest, yeah. it might be West Arch. Yeah. I, I, yeah. That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> it depends on where you're from, I guess. So the game is going to take place over how many periods then, Scotty? We've got, is it uh, eight periods? Uh, we got three periods, three periods, and there sorry. are eight turns per period. That's right. So sorry, yeah. whoever has the highest score at the end of the three periods wins. Yep. Um, first period will be the home team who become uh, who starts as the aggressor. So home team is uh, the amber color there. That's me, West Arch, um, and or West Arch, <laughs> and blue team is away. Um, so home starts the first period uh, as the aggressor, which means we have the ball. Yep. Uh, you'll notice on the side of the board there's also a, a blue two token and a three token uh, with uh, half colors there. So the second period uh, will be the uh, away team that starts as the aggressor, and the third period will be whoever is losing, essentially. <laughs> Brilliant. And over here, we have a um, a number of tables, basically. And these tables are for the actions that you take, which are evade, tackle, pass, and shoot. And those will become apparent as we play the game. We'll not go through all those now. Now, mm -hmm. um, And to actually do those actions, we've got the, the, <laughs> the very famous kind of uh, Blacklist Games die system, which, you know, no die is ever wasted. And here we can see a number of hits, a number of blocks, and on this uh, this gambit die here, there are also a number of what's called infractions as well, which uh, can go against you if you choose to use the gambit die. Uh, but if you're familiar with how the Blacklist games have worked in the past in the MDS system, then you know exactly that using those dice, every die has the potential to do something good for you. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, I want to point out also really quick uh, before I forget that um, there will, the, the final game will be miniatures. It will be highly detailed plastic miniatures. So these standees are only uh, for this TTS mod uh, just because it's easier to get those in there. And also it helps, uh, you know, um, people, you know, observing this at home right now basically kind of see who's doing what. Yeah, exactly. Uh, when you have the final miniature, it's obviously, you know, it's obvious who it is. Their, their art will, uh, the sculpt will match the art. So Brilliant. Excellent. So I think we kind of there's lots to discuss on how the game works. We have the kind of starting teams here. We have some players in our encampment, and we can call them on at certain times. Um, each team is going to have a uh, what's this card called, Scotty? It's not the tactic card. That's the, that is the uh, focus. Your focus, team focus card. Yeah. So each team has its uh, as a focus card, and you'll pull those out and draw those. And you can see that mine once per period when assembling the dice pool for an action test. I can use any one of my player's ability modifiers uh, in place on uh, on the one listed under the action rule. So, if, essentially, if I was, say, using the second action down here, which is a green action, uh, which is agility, I could use that card, uh, and then instead of using agility, sorry, wrong guy, I could use my power uh, for that particular action and use five, die, uh, five dice instead of four. But that'll become apparent mm -hmm. as we go through. Scott is his devious, and he can look at my tactics cards at the beginning of the game, and these are these here. We we'll probably won't get too much into the tactic cards in the, during this gameplay. Uh, but, yeah, these allow you to do some little extra actions, which you can see down here. Awesome. Oh, don't, don't say we don't use them yet, because I plan on using mine. <laughs> <laughs> we'll explain as they go through, as we go exactly. through them. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we all have a number of die. You have a standard die here. We have the Gambit die, which we can choose to use, but it can have negative effects for you. Uh, and I think here we got the scoring grid, and that's pretty much it. So um, Yeah, I think we can just get into it get into and it, yeah. explain the actions as, as we go. Absolutely. So... Over to you. You're the uh, you're the home team, Scotty. Let me t uh, yes. show us how you're going to do it. All right. So the crowd goes wild. Yay! Our players <laughs> are starting the game exactly. <laughs> West Arch, West Arch, <laughs> and boo, Dern hold. <laughs> <laughs> so um, your turn is broken down into four phases. Basically, the first phase is: Do I want to call a timeout? So your timeout essentially is a once per game, once per game, very important token. Uh, and you will use it to swap out one player from your squad, which is one of your five starting uh, individuals, uh, with one of your three benched players. Uh, and if for some reason um, you actually had a missing squad member, either from uh, the fact that they were ejected from the game or collapsed due to fatigue um, or exhaustion, I should say, um, you would just be able to you know, take a, a benched guy and just fill in that slot. Essentially. Yep. But I'm not going to use my timeout. I don't need to. So next, you can uh, remove one fatigue from each player in your squad. Uh, so you'll have fatigue showing up like this on characters throughout the game, which I'll explain shortly. Uh, at the start of your turn, you pretty much remove one from each individual. Excellent. But I don't need to do that either. No. So I move on to my actions. So I get four actions. Well, we, we get four actions per turn. We get these fancy tokens here. Uh, and this is the action symbol, a little arrowhead there. Uh, you'll recognize that on other components as we play. Um, so my first action here that I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to try something maybe a little different from our test game because that didn't work out. <laughs> well. uh, I have Mervog here. He started with the ball. Now in the final game, uh, you'll have these cool little base uh, rings on your on your minis, and they'll have a little clip so you can just slot the football token in there. So it'll be super obvious who is holding the ball. But right now, uh, you guys can tell uh, just by looking here that Mervog has the ball. So um, let's see here. First action, I guess, will be run. So I'm going to take my first action and place it on Mervog. The moment it hits a player card, you flip it over to its fatigue side. So um, if we look at Mervog's stats here, um, I guess I'll run everyone through what they mean. Yeah, on yeah. the left, we have the abilities, uh, like Mark kind of alluded to before. So we've got power in red, agility in green, skill in blue, and resolve in yellow. Uh, so those are the number of dice you'll roll when those abilities come into play during an action test. But on the right side are sort of your static, uh, I guess, uh, stats, I guess is the word I'm looking for. Um, the foot is how many areas you can move per run action. And uh, the yellow one, that is your fatigue limit. So as I mentioned before, you'll be taking fatigue, and Mervog here can only handle two fatigue. There is a way to take more, but uh, that comes at a risk, so I'll explain that if it happens. Yeah. 
Uh, so for now, I'm going to run. So Mervog has to take all his actions before I move on to a different player. Once I've moved on to a different player, I can't go back to Mervog. Um, and you can only do each action once with a player. So Mervog starts his run. He has a speed of three. Um, I'm going to run through some friendlies here, so I don't have to worry about any sort of evasion tests or anything. Yeah. So one area, two area, and I won't use the full three. Okay. Um, now, as part of my existing run action, I could take additional fatigue from the supply to do what's called a dash, and that's essentially repeating your run. And you can do that as many times as you can afford to with your fatigue. Uh, if you were to go over your fatigue limit, like I said, you, um, well, here, I'll show you guys. If ever I have to take, what is this? Uh, he has two fatigue. If ever I have to give him a third fatigue, instead I would clear his fatigue and flip him over to his exhausted side. So, so most players will lose some stats, and they'll lose their um, their unique ability at the bottom, uh, their text ability there. So that's, that's, that's a, it's kind of rough. So you don't yeah. want to get exhausted. Yeah. Um, but once you're exhausted, you'll notice you still have a fatigue limit, and your fatigue will have cleared at that point. Uh, so you can just keep, you know, taking more fatigue. The catch is that if you flip to your exhausted side, whatever action you were doing ends immediately. All right. So you can't dash infinity, if you will, uh, because the moment you do dash and you flip to your exhausted side, you can no longer run. And but what, you can do other actions. But... How do you recover from exhausted? Is so it... you have to spend a whole period in the bench okay. uh, on your exhausted side to become what's known as fresh again. Yep, yep. Okay? okay? So at the end of the period, if I have an exhausted guy, I'll probably want to bench him. And you mentioned, sorry, said, just on that, Scotty, you mentioned obviously you can take a fatigue so I can put it on there. Does that give you the full three again, or is it just one extra area that yes, you can move? Yeah, it's it's your full three again. Wow. So okay. it's, it's quite powerful, yeah. uh, but it, it does come at a, at a, at a risk of you know, yeah. exhausting your guys quick. But yeah, I'm just going to uh, end my run there. I won't bother dashing. So I can no longer run at this point with Mervog because I'm done with my run. Um, and I can't repeat an action. So now instead, I am going to activate, uh, let's see here. Let's activate Ron the Howler. So Ron the Howler here is going to uh, use a, an action, flip it over to the fatigue, and he's also going to run. Now, uh, as any as part of any run action, you can take the ball if it's either held by a friendly or uh, if it's on the ground. Okay. So I'm basically going to run one. Uh, what is his run here? Sorry, it's, he's got he three. three speed. Okay. So one, two, three. Uh, as I run into Lars, I grab the ball from Mervog here. Okay. Okay. Now, um, what happens is uh, Lars, um, you know, he can't do anything yet. But if I try to leave that space, uh, I have to try to evade him. Yeah. Uh, but really quickly, Ron the Howler, if you want to look at my card here for him over yeah. here, you'll notice his ability is called uh, Thrill of the Fight. So if this player ends a run action in the same area as a uh, standing enemy player, return the action token to the supply instead of placing it uh, on their card is fatigue. Yeah. So if I were to end my run action here, um, I would essentially uh, not have to take, take this that. as a yep. fatigue. Um, so you know what? I, I think I will do that. I okay. will end here, and I'll remove that since it's in my ability. Uh, and now I'm going to try to uh, throw this ball <laughs> into the goal. <laughs> so... Doing this, so throwing, or uh, in this case, shooting is the term uh, when you're, you're trying to get a goal. Yeah. Um, so we look here. I am two spaces away from the rear bastion space. Let me explain those really quick. So we have this special space here in, in the blue area here in front of the goal, um, which is the gate. So the gatehouse is this big wall. You cannot run through it because it's basically stone and wood <laughs> and all that. Um, but the gate is in front of the gatehouse. Now, this is an important space uh, for various reasons, but behind the go the gatehouse uh, is the bastion here. So the bastion is three areas here. All of those are part of the bastion. So yep. for me to score a goal by throwing um, the ball through the, the goal, through the gatehouse, um, basically, uh, I have to aim for the center bastion square. Yeah. So if I count spaces here, um, that is essentially one, two spaces. Yep. So if we look really quickly at this prototype uh, chart here, yep. the actions, I'll come um, the, the final one will be so much better, of course. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we look at the final uh, action section, which is shoot. 
Yep. So I am the active player. The ability I have to use is skill, so that is going to be my blue uh, ability. Yep. Um, and I would get plus one uh, to whatever dice I roll um, if I had a supporting player. So supporting players are going to be in your area. So if I had, you know, some sort of uh, friend with me uh, in my area trying to, you know, keep people off of me, that would give me an advantage, right? So I would get a plus one for each guy there. Um, Lars... Uh, is going to attempt to block this, I'm assuming. He's going to try to intercept the ball. Yeah. So on the path from uh, where I am to my, my destination, essentially, anyone that's standing there as uh, in the opponent's team can try to intercept. You would declare someone as the, the intercept. Yep. The resisting player is the term. And you just choose um, one, don't you? If there's a number of players you would just choose, I would just choose whichever player I wanted to, to, to be that resisting player. Correct, yeah. exactly. Uh, and if you look at the chart again, uh, so you would basically have to choose a resisting player, and then that resisting player would use his skill, which is the blue, yeah. um, and he would get a plus one die for each supporting player he has, so that would be additional people uh, in the same area as me, yeah. not, not the resisting player himself, of course. Uh, also, anyone who might be standing um, in the... Uh, no, sorry, that's it. It yeah. has to be in my area. And then it's the, but yeah. anyone that can be declared as a resisting player would be in my area, or in the gate in this case, yep. or anywhere in between. So you're aim I'm aiming for the bastion space, but the gate, the last chance to catch the ball, you could have a guy as a resisting player standing yep. there as well. Okay? But either way, so uh, I don't get a plus one. You don't get a plus one. I don't one. get a plus one. <laughs> so it's just skill versus skill. In skill this versus case. skill, and skill is the blue one. And we can see that my Correct. skill is three on here. Um, yeah, I also have three. Yeah. So as the active player, I have to be the first to assemble my dice pool. So I'm going to do that now. I've got my three uh, dice over here. Yeah. And I have to be the first to declare if I'm using the gambit die. So the gambit die is going to uh, provide additional successes and or misses, of course. Yeah. But it also has that dreaded infraction symbol twice on, on, on two different sides, I should say. So uh, it's a risk. That's yeah. why they call it the gambit die. So I'm going to do it anyways. I really want this goal. Okay, so, so you're going with four die, in, well, three including your gambit. I've got to decide my skill is three. Uh, I don't think he has any special four there. No, if you score a full success. Okay. Um, oh, so also, I, one thing I forgot to mention is um, fate sort of comes into play as well here. So as the resisting player, if you go back to the chart really quick, yep. um, if the range of my, my shot here exceeded two, yep. um, you would get plus one die for each point by which that range exceeds it. So if I was four spaces away from the Bastion, yep. which would be two over two, you would get two extra dice because of that. Yep. So that's why I got really close. <laughs> Absolutely. So, yeah. So I could do three die here because I've got three. However, if we look at my card here, and I'm going to may, may mm. use it early on, what I can do is flip this card over and use a higher value on there. And you can see that Lars's power is five. So I think I'm actually going to do that. We'll flip that over. We'll add another two die into there. So Scotty's got his three plus his gambit die. I'm not even going to try with my gambit die. I'm just going to roll my five die because I'm using that particular card. All right. See, Lars is always a risk because that guy is a powerhouse. Uh, so I, I don't know why I didn't even realize he had, like, he had that, that chance to maybe get that little uh, versatile thing going. But that's okay. That's okay. okay. So, uh, I'm ready. Okay, let's do this then. Yep, here we go. Oops, wrong thing. Here we go. Oh, I got a sort of cock die here. Oh. Let me just move this one. Oh, no. <laughs> I got an infraction. You got okay, so let's, let's do this. Okay. So <laughs> I got three hits, which are the transparent. Which are those here. So if you look here, yeah. we got one hit, double on there, uh, but an infraction, and then blocks, which don't count for you right now. However, I'm looking for blocks, and what I've got is one, two, three. So I blocked all of Scotty's hits there. Um, yeah, a block cancels a hit, essentially. <laughs> so I got zero successes, and I got an infraction. an infraction. So before we get to the infraction thing, yep. we resolve the ongoing action. So yep. let's take a quick look at the chart here. It says the opposing manager, which is me, chooses... Uh, uh, no, yeah, that's right. The resisting player takes possession of the ball, or they place the ball loose in an area's throw path, uh, including the active player's area, but forgetting bastion areas. So basically, I can launch the ball up the field or I can take possession of the ball myself. Uh, he's got one action left. There's not a great deal. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, you place the ball um, loose in any area in the throw's path. So essentially, oh, I can my put path that there. is from here to the bastion. So yeah, yeah <laughs> your choices are where we are or uh, in the gate, I believe. Let's so, have a look. So, yeah. Da, 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 da. yeah. The bastion, you can't. 
put place it there. But I can take possession of the ball. I think that's what I've yes. got. Yes, you pretty much jump up and grab it. Yeah, <laughs> that's exactly what I'm going to do right now. So there we go. We're just going to move that ball onto Lars. There we go. So Fron the Howler howls in anger. <laughs> the crowd goes wild, though. Wait! It's signature. Lars, <laughs> Lars. Howler's howled. This is going to change the game. Lars the tank. Lars the tank. That's what it is. Yeah, so. <laughs> they throw some sort of, like, powdered... Uh, substance that I don't know. I don't know what it is. Some fantasy powdered substance at, at the Dernhold fans that are like, no, the Howler is going to make up for that. Um, so the the Howler has run and he has uh, shot. So at this point, yeah. he can tackle or pass because those are the only re remaining things he hasn't done yet. So yeah. luckily, he hasn't tackled yet. So for yeah. my final action, I am. Oh, sorry. Let's not forget the infraction. I'm. All, I'm. Oh yeah, you need to get an infraction to token. So, so do you want to explain those? Warning. Yeah. Yeah. So the first thing that happens is it's a yellow warning, which is just like a, hey, hey, watch it, buddy. Um, but if I get further infractions with uh, the Howler here, um, I could, well, the next warning will be my final warning, and I'll be penalized by being uh, teleported to my encampment, at uh, which point I have to stay there until my next turn. Uh, and if, while I have a final warning on me, I get a third infraction, I am ejected from the yeah, out of here. no longer <laughs> use that third. But I'm still just on my first warning, so it's okay. okay. So here we go. I am going to tackle you with my final action. Yep. Uh, I'm let's fine because it's two fatigue on him. He has a limit of three, so we're all good. So let's let's check out this tackle. What happens here? So it's for you, it's your power um, mm -hmm. you've been using. I'm going to be using Resolve. Plus one for supporting players. We know there's no supporting players here, so it's just a case of, uh, yeah, there's no other modifiers, are there? there. So um, I'm going to use my resolve. My resolve right. is four. Okay, and, and my power, uh, power with him is three. Three, yeah. Hmm. All right. Well, uh, you know what? He already has an infraction. I don't want to take a risk, so I'm just going to use my three normal dice and hope you get... Uh, <laughs> No, no blocks. <laughs> I'm going to use my so, four dice. I'm not. I don't need to use anything else here. I think I could use my um, my gambit die. I just don't need to at this stage. So let's do that then. All right, here we go. Oh, I got three successes. I got four ah. blocks. <laughs> <laughs> so I whiff completely. So basically, oh my God. I look here, failure. Oh, I hate that word. The active manager, which is me. Uh, may choose to place the active player prone. So I can basically throw myself on the ground because I missed. <laughs> Kicking uh, and I screaming this, like a child in a supermarket. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. Uh, basically, if I do this, though, I would actually make this count as a partial success. Okay. So what is a partial success with a tackle? Um, normally, it would be one or two successes on, on a dice roll there. Um, I can make the opposing manager choose to either um, give Lars one fatigue or place Lars prone. So basically, if I go prone, you go prone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I basically knock you down by knock myself down in the process. You know, you know what? Let's do it. I'm going to... Uh, unfortunately, I can't tip this standee over in TTS. I'll just flip him. Okay. Uh, so I have gone prone, in which case uh, becomes a partial success. Now, here's the tricky bit. Um, normally, this would be where you choose. You want fatigue or whatever, but I have a moment of glory. Hey, what? What is that? So this is one of my magic tactics. <laughs> Play this card so, during your turn after rolling the dice pool for an action test to treat a partial success as a full success. Mother of mercy. Yeah? So I've gone from failure to partial to full. <laughs> so full success, I have placed you prone. So I, I placed you prone um, either way, so you, yeah. you drop the ball. When you yeah. go prone, you drop the ball. Okay. Now, <laughs> um, so, so check this out. I'm also going to burn my other tactic card immediately. No way. So now I have no more tactics. This is called rolling <laughs> offense. So play this card after one of your players completes a tackle action, which results in the target, uh, Lars, being prone. If the active player, me, is prone, stand them up. And then the active player can make up to two moves as though they were making a run action. Oh, man. So this is the interesting bit. So I actually get to stand up. Now, as part of a run action, you can you pick, pick up, up the a ball. loose ball. Oh. Now, the problem is it's only two, so I can't actually make it to the bastion because there's no diagonal movement. In only this orthogonal. Only yep. orthogonal. But uh, I'm going to you know, see what happens. I'm going to go one, two... 
And um, actually, who, between Bridget and Benry Von Clint, who has the uh, higher power here? Let's have a look. Oh, Bridget's pretty good, but uh, there and Benry yeah. is four. They're both similar, well, basically. son of a gun. Yeah. I guess I don't have a choice. I, oh. I'll just pick one or the other. I'll go behind Bridget. Why not? So, um, yeah, I'm going to end that special boost there. Okay. Uh, and if anything, it's just going to slow you down a bit, I guess. Yeah. Uh, that's the end of my turn. No more actions. Excellent. Uh, so the only thing you do, you advance the hourglass of the next turn. There are eight turns uh, in, a, in a period, by the way, so we each get four. Fine. Um, okay. And that's it. So it's now my go. So what happens with my prone player now then oops uh, so go. you've got a choice now uh you don't have to spend an action to stand him up but yep. he will still take fatigue from the uh the pool yeah okay fine but here's and if i wanted to move and then tackle <laughs> uh he could certainly move towards you but no uh it's his power isn't it is that right for a tackle it's, is it power correct it's ooh, power ooh right ooh ooh but that doesn't give me much. He wouldn't have the ability to do that because he can only take two no. fatigue. No. Uh, that's where the tactics comes in. Okay, let's look at this. This player has one resolve for each friendly guardian in the same row. Ah. Okay, mm -hmm. that doesn't really matter. So row, just in case people aren't, aren't uh, understanding. So it's it's from left to right on your screen, I believe, here. So between the uh, turn counts and the uh, scoreboard, essentially, that's, that's yeah. a row. Okay, look, let's, let's take Bridget. Bridget's going to move to start off with. What's her... Fatigue is three. Okay, fine. Mm -hmm. So the first thing we're going to do with Bridget is uh, move her, I believe. Just a moment. And what was Benry's? Yeah, still the same. So she's obviously going to move into into here because we now need to mm -hmm. take her second action. And that's it. She she can't split this run, can she? It's complete that action and then move on to the next action now. So effectively... Well, you could do a dash as part of that same run action. Yeah, which... but, but what I can't do is move one square, tackle you, and then carry on my, my run, can I, there, basically. So, no, yeah. yeah. Once you do something else, run is yeah. out of the out of the game, essentially, for, the, for that player for that turn. Uh -uh. Okay, fine. So, yeah, that's cool. Um, now we're going to tackle. So tackle, for me, I'm the active player. Uh... Ah, uh, mm. actually, no. No. We're going to make sure on this. We're not going to tackle. She's just going to run into there. Okay. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah, yeah. So the next one is obviously going to be Benry right here. Yeah, so he's going to move there. There you go. And he's going to go one, two, three into the same area. Oops. Okay. Oh, yeah. That. So one thing that's important to note is this is your maximum player count per area. So an area is a square, basically, and you can never have uh, more than two of your own uh, players in an area. Exactly. So at any point, there will be a maximum of four uh, miniatures in an area, but two on yeah. each team, essentially. Yeah. So as we know, Benry has a power of four, but if I now use his second action, his second fatigue, mm -hmm. we're okay there, and we look on here, you can see that for tackle... Um, I get an, an extra die on my power for a supporting player because they're in the same area, gets an extra die. Mm -hmm. So he's going to have five die to tackle with there, basically. <laughs> so the Howler here is in a, in a tricky situation because the, the Howler... Hmm, his resolve is have, three. <laughs> yeah, his resolve is three, but the catch is that he's already got... Um, well, he's already got two fatigue out of three, so if ever you somehow get more fatigue on me, that's not great. But I'm worried about his... his um, warning here, because I definitely want to use the Gambit die, because I'm underpowered, but yep. man, that could really be a problem if I get a penalty. But you know what, let's do it. Let's do it. So okay. what are you doing? You're doing um, uh, five. five dice. Five dice. Are you throwing in the Gambit die? You must declare it before. I'm, you... Do you know what? I'm going to, basically. Yeah, <laughs> I'm really going to go for this. Yeah, so... <laughs> All right, here we go. So the Orcs, uh, they love infractions, so the Howler is like, bring it on! <laughs> so that would be my three dice for my uh, Resolve and one Gambit. Okay, here we go then. Oops, one sec. Oh, that's the wrong thing. Oh, I did it wrong. I'll do it plenty. <laughs> I do that a lot, too. Yeah. Uh, one, two, three, four successes. I have three success, uh, three blocks, but if you look at my Gambit die, it paid off. I got the multiplier, the, the doubler, essentially. So whatever I'm looking for is times two. So my three blocks become six blocks Oof. and eats all your hits. That eats everything there. So if we look at there, uh, my failure is <laughs> the active manager may choose to place the active player prone. If so, this counts as a partial success. Do you know so what? You can go prone. I can go prone, which is fine. But okay. if I take that action... Uh, and then I move on to partial success. I uh, 
Oh, you choose. If I have to choose. Do yeah. I basically go prone and drop the ball, or do I take a fatigue to resist you trying to drag me down with you? And, but, Ooh. and if you take a fatigue, you're, you're on your fatigue limit, aren't you? Oh, yeah. no, you got... At the start of my next turn, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll remove one, which is fine. Yeah. I'm just worried about what your next action is going to be. You still have an action on your turn, Yeah. and Bridget is right there. She is indeed, uh, yeah. And if I drop the ball, it's not great either. So, you know, I, I don't think I have a choice. I'm going to take that fatigue, fatigue. from the pool. Okay. Just keep standing. And that's it. This is brilliant because I think you know, the, the amount of strategy, um, well, tactical decisions that you have to make is just fantastic. It's changing on a constant basis. I'm really, really enjoying this. What, what I like about it, I mean, I don't want to get into it too much, I guess, since we're playing, but uh, the, the field is, as some people have said, you know, a little um, small compared to some other uh, fantasy sports games. But what I like about it is that it really forces you to think strategically because anytime you score, the opposing player has a chance to just, you know, score on, uh, as a retaliation. Yeah. And if you bring all your men forward, uh, you know, to make a goal easier, that's great. But the catch is that there's no reset in between yeah. goals. Yeah. So you're leaving your defense wide open. Yeah. So you got you to think defense and offense at the same time. But so that being said, you have another action. Left. I do, but I can't use Bridget because you have to – I can't go back to her actions, can I now? Is that oh, correct? that's true. She played her, her, um, earlier. That is yeah. true. So she's once you've played with a, car a player, you can't go back to them if you switch to someone oh, else. So man. Better, um, uh, and yeah. what have we got here? We've got Fiora Silvervein, basically. So I could run down there uh, with Fiora, um, uh, but I can't enter that area. Oh, bugger! Uh, now, yeah. give me a second here. I'm just going to check something really quick. I believe. Um, I'll do yeah. It. So when you're prone, you remain prone until. Um, uh, the, the next uh, turn, essentially. Um, yeah, so I thought maybe you could take a fatigue, you know, again with Benry to make him stand up, but it has to yeah. be on your next turn. Yeah. So because this is crowded, I don't automatically, and if I was to move into this area, I couldn't do anything here. Uh, it wouldn't move these out, would it? I would have to move uh, what's the face out first and then do that, yeah? Um, one second, let me just verify, because I'm, this is a, a slight tw tweak on a rule, uh, the Recent game change. Uh, the previous versions, yep. yeah. Uh, I just want to check something really quick. I don't know if a prone player counts as the um, maximum in an area. Okay. So let me just check really quickly here if I can find it. Um, obviously, it <laughs> is. Uh, supporting, unopposed. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, area, dropping the ball. I think we could assume if you can't find it, we'll we'll, we'll play with the rule that the uh, the prone player does take up space there, and yeah, therefore it restricts sure. my actions. Yeah, yeah, makes sense that that's the case. Uh, that's the case. Um, okay, and uh, uh, right. Oh, standing or prone? So yeah, so yeah, prone absolutely. still eats up a space. So in t kind of what I could do here is is next to nothing basically. So um, Benry is is prone. Uh, Bridget can't. My turn is coming up, yeah, right? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Mm. <laughs> the only thing I can do, I think, is I could try because you may want to run into the bastion. One, two, three, four. Dora, she has two. So, uh, but I'll have to evade there as well. You may try to run into the bastion, which would be an evade move by you. But okay, look, I'm gonna want to. Uh, it doesn't make any difference whatsoever. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, we shall do with Dora. I think flip that over, and she's gonna move her two, one, two, and I can take another fatigue token on Dora just to dash another two, basically. Oops, wrong thing. Uh, one, two, and we'll just put her. Oops, put her stand in the gate. Yeah, on the gate, basically. That's my four actions done there. Uh, oh man, it was going kind of in my way. We kind of tackled uh, what it was called, Cron, Hor, Hron uh, and it was looking Hron. good. And then two, yeah, my tackle just did not work on uh, on these guys. And now suddenly, I'm in I'm in a bit of dire straits, basically. Right, it's over to you now, then, isn't it, Scotty? So we're on period three. Uh, that's great. Move three. However, however, uh, I'm just going to play this card here. Oh, okay. And this card says that 
Uh, I play at the start of your activation stage, uh, and until the end of their turn, whenever one of your players attempts to evade, your dice pool has an additional plus one modifier. Wow. Yeah. That is a good card to play right now. <laughs> if that works out, that is, that is clutch. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Oh, uh, you just make a discard pile. Uh, and uh, mind, that, yeah, yeah. Cover yeah, up yeah, your yeah. focus. Yep. Fine. Okay. Well, all right. I'm going to remove a fatigue from each. Well, do I want to call a timeout? Nope. Uh, no. So I move on. I remove a fatigue from each of my characters or players. Sorry, that's the term. Okay. Uh, and then I get uh, four action tokens. Pool, essentially. Here we go. So now I have to think ahead because it would be easy to just use Fron the Howler to just run into the Bastion. The problem is the moment I score that goal, my turn ends. So any actions I haven't used are wasted. Yeah. So do I want to use them prior to that to position, to position. my players for the inevitable counterattack? Because I know that once Fron scores, he will be teleported back to the encampment. Uh, and that's going to be one less man on the field for me, which is a problem. And, uh, hmm, Listen, i gotta, I got to play smart here. <laughs> so, um, let's see. I'm going to use one action to, uh, where is he? Mervog is the closest there. So I'm going to run him into the zone to help his buddy out here. So one, two, three is his move. Um, this is dumb, but I'm going to dash with a fatigue from the pool. Just to make it uh, as move. part of that. Exactly. Just to enter that space, which is going to be hard on TTS. There we go. I made it. I didn't tip anything over. Cool. Um, and then before I actually activate Fron, I will take Rutgrot here for a quick little dash, maybe over here. And another action. Okay, do I want to hand? If I fail this run, uh,. I could still try to shoot the ball through the goal, although that angle is going to be pretty tough. Uh, it's still doable, but, you know. Um, ooh, this is tough. Don't want to you know, I'm, I'm not going to take a risk. I'm going to position Gultran as well uh, over here. Okay. Now, I mean, this is, like, wide open in the center for a clean shot to the goal, but I'm more worried <laughs> about you catching up if I do manage to get five points. So here we go. Final action. Fron the Howler. Um, now, he is at his fatigue limit. But, oh, wow, TTS just yeah. put that thing on the news. Ooh, what happened here? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> You've lost everything. <laughs> I've lost everything. All right, one second. So, Goltran only had his one. Yeah. This, the joys of using magnets in TTS. There we go. All right, so this, he's at his max of three. Now, he does not go exhausted because he hasn't gone over Over it. Yeah. He's reached it. So, here we go. His final action here will it's be an invasion. invasion. With a plus one support, so his evade, what is it? Is a uh, agility of three plus one support, so four dice. Okay. For me, what is your stat? So I've got Bridget, and which one is it? It's uh, it's agility. No, it's resolve, isn't it, basically? So uh, where's Bridget? Mm -hmm. She's there. She's got resolve of three plus one because... Uh, it, oh, it has to be a standing teammate. Oh, mother of pearl. Mm -hmm. Right, okay. <laughs> however, however, I did play that one thing, which allows me an extra dice there, oh, basically. Yes. Yeah. Oh no. So that gives me four. And uh, are you I, 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 are you playing your gambit die? That's the question, isn't it? Four to four. I really want to make this happen. I'm going to take the risk. And the worst part is, it's my it's my guy who has the warning already. <laughs> yeah. So you know, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Okay. And I'm using my gambit die. Here we go. So I need more blocks, and Scotty's got successes. And let's hope this happens, guys. Yep. Here we go. Oh, it's done it again. One second. Here we go. Hasn't selected them all. Come on, yeah. It's oh, hard so. sometimes. Because of the uh, play areas. Yeah, let me just zoom out a little bit. One sec. There we go. That's better. That's done it. That's done it again. There we go. Oh, One, no. so two, got... three, four, five. Are you serious? One, two. Oh, you've got an infraction as well. <laughs> so this is the worst possible result. You, you, you've completely crushed my dreams. I have been stopped in my tracks, and I've got an infraction. So first things first. Well, we resolve the failure on my evade. Yeah. Uh, which says, um, where is it? Yeah. So I basically have to choose to um, either fatigue take a fatigue token or place him prone. Either way is where an action ends. So either yep. way, I'm ending. Yeah. Um, do, I, do I want to make him exhausted? It's probably the worst possible case. So I'm going to go prone, unfortunately. Yeah. Which means the, the ball is now loose. Loose. Um, and uh, I think that's the end of the failure, pretty much. Yeah. Yep. Uh, and now the infraction occurs. So. Uh, I get my final warning with Ron the Howler, which means he's immediately 
uh, teleported to the encampment. Magic, some <laughs> some magic teleportation <laughs> spell. Uh, and he's gonna be there until uh, the start of my next turn. At which point, I can use a standard run action uh, to run him either out into um, these uh, two spaces here on either side of the gate. Brilliant. And that's my first point of movement. So it's it's not great. No, so not that's great at all. that's the end of my turn. It, it could have been a great turn, but it ended up being <laughs> not great. So if West Star look... fans, their jaws just drop. <laughs> <laughs> so, let me have a look here then. So, uh, let me advance this turn marker yeah, here. Turn, so marker on. turn four. So, we've got a my turn. Then I can take a timeout here and just explain a timeout then, Scotty. Yeah, so we get these one tokens we can use once per game, yeah? Once per game. So, at any point, you can swap one guy from the squad with one guy from the bench, yeah. or take a benched player and uh, fit him into an empty squad slot. Cool. And where do they go? Where do they go on the pitch? Then are they go? Do they this will replace them exactly where they were? Uh, they will actually move to the edge of the encampment, and okay. their first point of movement uh, will be one of the two side yeah. spaces next to the gate. Okay. I'm not going to take a timeout just yet, so that's okay. Uh, next one is discard one fatigue per player. So we have one there. Uh, one there and one there, and I shall just get my another token. Yeah, so flip those over. So that's my fatigue moved. Then we have take four actions. Does my do my prone player stand back up now automatically? You don't have to. Uh, obviously, uh, it's just it's, it's if you want to use them, you have to stand them up, which means you'll take a fatigue from the. Oh right. Pool. So they don't they don't just automatically write themselves at any one point. Then basically, yeah. So yeah. that's okay. Yeah. Fine. So if we look at Lars Thunderwick, uh, he could kind of stand up, take a fatigue, and he could run for one, two, three, four, which would get him there. Then he could take a shot, or he could move to here. Um, oh, or we've got Bridget, because again, it's about positioning, isn't it? So, mm -hmm. oh, oh, I know what I'm going to do. So I'm going to stand Lars Thunder. Oh, I can't at this stage. No. Yeah. Okay. Right. So Bridget, if she runs, she runs two. But she has, uh, she's got to evade this guy here. No, I know what I'll do. I'll turn Benry up. So let's give Benry another fatigue token. Uh, flip that over. There we go. Give him a fatigue token because that just helps me from an evade perspective now. And Benry is then for his. Next action is going to be to take a an evade, basically. So he's going to run two. Uh, yep. So that's the third fatigue token. Hold on, did I do that? I stood him up. That's right. Yeah. Uh, and and it's an evade action that I'm taking now. So there we go. So for evade, I get um, it's working on my agility, and Benry, his agility is two. It's not great. Um, but I get uh, plus one for a supporting player, so he's also got Bridget in there, so that's good. So that's three for Benry. Let me just have a look at this. I don't need that just yet. So that's what we're going to do. Benry's going to try and pick the ball up and evade for a run, basically. So we're going to get three for him from his three. agility. Hmm. Uh, I have a resolve of three with uh, Mervog here. I'm also going to um, use I'm going to use the Gambit die as well, by the way. Yep. Okay. Uh, man, I don't want another infraction here, but I really don't want you to take that ball. I'm, uh, I'm not going to use the gambit die. I'm okay. Fine. All right. There we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh no! Only one block. Oh. <laughs> so I got one, two, four, basically against your oh, one. Oh wow! So yeah. it's three successes remaining, which is a full success. Yeah. So if you look on here, so, full success, that just means I can make my move and continue my run action, basically. So I can, much. And as part so, of the run, you can grab the ball. Grab the ball. Well, I'll, I'll do that in a sec. And he can move two, I believe, Benry. Yeah, one, two. So there we go. One, two. So he's just moved to there, which is pretty cool. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, uh -huh. So he's also got an extra petite. Uh, right, okay, fine. Um, do I want to dash? One, two, maybe. And then he can go one, two, yes. Okay, so we're going to take a dash on him as well, which will use his third fatigue. Okay. Ooh, pushing it. Yeah, but we'll take that to one, two, to there. Okay. Uh, and then we're going to use an action on Lars Thunderwick right here. So hmm. I do I want to. Yeah, on a sec. Um, 
So he will move one, two, three, four, and that'll get me within there. E yeah, that's what we'll do. We shall uh, use Lars. He's going to move four. You can see he's got four there. So uh, flip him back up. One, two. He's going to pick the ball up. So that was, uh, yeah, one one fatigue to stand up and then another action to run, correct? Oh, is that right? I thought the, right, okay, fine. Yeah, okay, fine. Yeah, yeah, just standing up is, is fatigue out of the pool, out of the supply, but then anything else is... Sorry, awesome. right, okay, action. fine. Yeah, okay, fine. That kind of puts pain to my plans, but there we go. But that's okay. Um, uh, three, what was it? He was there, wasn't he? One, two, three, four to there. Holy smokes. Uh-huh. Uh, still, so that was a it... run. Yeah, and a stand up for fatigue there. So I've got two actions left so far. Um, you could try to dash with Lars to try to dash through my defense. I, mean, I can't. He's, thing. I cannot. Oh, I could. I can exhaust him basically. Um, oh yes, that's true. But that ends my turn, doesn't it? There, if uh, it ends the run action. Ends the run action. But if I wanted to throw, that would then uh, here. That would then exhaust. I could still throw by adding fatigue to it. Could I? Uh, yeah, yeah, because you'll have a fresh um, fatigue on the exhausted side, right? Just, uh, yeah, let's just your limit it resets essentially. Your your fatigue clears when you flip. Okay, fine. And do you flip before you throw or after you throw? Um, that is a very good question. I believe it's after the action that caused after the it action. to happen. Okay. Uh, let me just double check that. Uh, um. <laughs> Uh, I, I believe it's after, yes. It's after, right, okay. Well, this is good. So what Lars is going to do then, he's going to exhaust himself, basically. Um, we shall take one of these and just put that on there. Boop. Um, and we're going to throw because there's nobody blocking my goal here, basically. So he, if you look at shoot, we have on shoot, we have an uh, active player, skill plus, so it's my skill, uh, plus one for supporting player. There's no supporting player. I'm only one, two there, so I don't incur any extra, extra, um, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. you don't incur any extra, should I say, there. I have so. no one to defend against No that. one to defend. I, I was hoping that I was going to, you know, get a nice five-pointer run earlier, but now you might get the lead with a two-pointer. So I just need to score through... Three successes. Three successes. So I'm going to use my gambit die here as well, then, basically. So, yeah, let's just do that. Okay. Here we go. No. <laughs> <laughs> he shoots. He scores. The ball goes screaming through into the net. And that's it. Whoa. Lars Thunderstruck has scored. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Sorry. the Dunhill, whatever we're called, uh, uh, Dunhold Anvils are in the lead. Yes, two points. You are on the board. I did two not. points of it. Right, okay, fine, yeah. So what happens uh, with Lars now? Now he's scored. Then does he get teleported somewhere? He say. So you actually don't get teleported. This is this is the interesting ah. bit. If you were standing in the oh, gate, there. Yep. or if you were standing in any one of my bastion spaces, you would, or if any of your team would be there as well, they'd be teleported. But since yep. you're outside of that, you actually stay there. Um, so the ball will remain here. Okay. Uh, in the gate, and I got to do something quick because to, uh, my, my run to, is, to get that out of there. My turn has ended now, hasn't it? Basically, so um, uh, yes. so now it's your so turn. You lose your actions. Yep. Uh, so you advance the timer. Oops, that was in six. It needs to be five. Okay. There we go. Cool. Ooh. All right. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> I am going to remove a fatigue from each of my players. All right. So Pron the Howler sees this, and he's not happy because you know. He could have had the lead earlier, but he failed, and now you've got the lead. So, <laughs> um, he, watch this. He is going to come out with his first action. You sure you don't um, want to take? Already... A, you sure you don't want to take a time out? I mean, you know, he's 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 got pretty much got this final warning going on with him here. So it's early in the game, and, and you know he's angry now. So he, he he's going to use his first action, which is. His fatigue limit at this point. Oh, I need to um, flip. Sorry, I need to flip my guy over, Donna, uh, as well. Yeah. Oh yes, uh, if if uh, you did that, yeah. And that clears the fatigue, doesn't it, on there? Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Flip. Okay. There cool. There go. Yeah. Um. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, first action with Ron the Howler. He's coming out to get his revenge. So he's using a move, a uh, run, which is three speeds. So one, he has yeah. to come out of the encampment into one of these. Two. 
Pick the ball as part of the run action, he's grabbing this ball. Ugh, I can't. There we go. Yeah. And uh, he's in. The, oh, I just realized. Is it worth pushing him to the limit here? Pushing Ooh, him to the exhaustion side. Off. I mean, the period's almost over, and he'll have time to rest then. <laughs> so let, let's see what happens. So I'm actually going to take an additional action with him, which essentially does this, and it clears the fatigue. But before I do that, the action. Um, is his oh no it's a different guy hang on i'm using the wrong guy oh no <laughs> <laughs> I, I read the wrong ability everything is back so he's still going to use his action to come out uh because you know i don't want to be uh you know one man less on the field here he's still going to run in here and, and grab the ball you know you've only taken two of your moves so you did you do have one left don't you yes so, yeah um whew. you know what just to be safe i'm actually going to who has and my star player is all the way in the back here, which is a bad thing. <laughs> bad planning. That's okay. I'm going to actually just run here with the ball, and okay. uh, I'm going to hand it over to Rutt Grutt. Oh, Ron, okay. I think. Yes. They're both Chargers. Uh, Rutt Grutt and Gultran. Where's he, actually? He's a Sentinel. Charger. Yeah, Rutt Grutt's going to take it. Yeah. Okay. Um... So Rutgerot, he's a charger, and the orc chargers here, they all share the same special ability, which is Reckless Assault. So if this player receives an infraction from the Gambit die during a tackle action, I still get the infraction, but I get two hits, two hits. to my score. Ooh. So it, it makes the tackle even rougher. Yeah. So if ever he has to tackle someone, that could be worth it. He's a, di uh, so dirty, play he's a dirty player. That's what he is. Dirty, dirty player. <laughs> uh, so he's going to run yep. uh, his three. So one, two, three in a straight line here. There we go. Um, uh, so many choices here. Do I, I could try to pass it to Mervog, but then he has to run out again, and he's failed me a few times. Um, you know what? I'm going to run Rutgrot uh, with a dash, essentially. Sorry. Uh, so he's going to take an additional fatigue here from the supply. Okay. And he's just going to run right up to Mervog. Ooh. Okay. And hand it over to Mervog. Oh, terrible. <laughs> Um. Yeah, I'm gonna try again. Here we go. So, problem is, if I fail this, it's gonna be another whiff. Should I plan ahead here? And who do I? Have? I don't like Lars. Lars is is creepy there all on his, <laughs> on his own. So I'm gonna move uh, Shagura, who's doing nothing here, really quick. Oops. Uh, one, two, three, into Lars's space. Okay. Just to, to help. And here we go. Mervog has another chance at redemption. He is going to attempt a run, I, I guess, is, now's the time to do it. So here we go. And, yeah. I've got, and then I've got Bridget, haven't I? So Bridget is uh, evasion for me. Oh, it's resolve. Uh, so using resolve, yes. It's resolve, isn't it? Yeah, so I've got three You don't have there. additional guardians there, which yeah. is good for me because we've gotten a bonus. That has now finished, that hasn't it? Uh, yep. Yeah. So we, we ended yeah. that turn, so that's finished. Uh Okay, fine. Now, uh, one thing I forgot to mention is a tactic that's played is discarded for the rest of the game. So next period, yeah. you'll use the rest of your available deck to choose two tactics. Fair enough. Uh, the only thing I will say is Bridget has a uh, shield wall, which says uh, plus one resolve for each friendly guardian in the same row is Benry. Yes, Ben. Is that Benry? Uh, oh, no, no, that is Fiora. Oh, buggeration. <laughs> That's right, okay. Was, uh, <laughs> wait, that's not a guardian, right? But still, I've got no infractions yet, um, so I don't know. So what die are you so using? Let's see here. So Mervog has to use his uh, agility here to evade. Uh, so he's got an agility of three. Plus um, one. He's has a supporting friend. Yeah. yeah. So that's an additional four. I'm, uh, I really want to make this happen. Let's do it. Uh, Gambit die all the way. Okay, I am also going Gambit die with uh, with my three uh, three dice here. So let's see what happens then. All right, okay. I, this this has to happen. Come on, redemption. Oof. One, two, three, Definitely. four, five, six. You Excellent. Not... Yeah, I got one block. I mean, you just cruise right. through there basically. So I run through into the bathroom. Do a little victory dance. I don't know what boom, a boom, dork boom, boom. victory dance is. <laughs> <laughs> on my chest. And I have a five point What? Goal. No! Yeah. And what but happens to your guys now this then? This is the problem here. So I kind of crippled myself for this potential counterattack. So anyone in your um, bastion is teleported away. Yep. And anyone, uh, well, who's standing on the gate, 
uh, is teleported away, but I'm not officially on the gate. The gate is only the center space of this. Um, right. Okay. Area. Yep. But the ball is dropped uh, in the gate. In the well, gate. So. Oh yes. Here we go. We're back over to my turn now. So we're in room six. Pretty much. Oh. Right. Okay. So who do we have? We have uh, Fiora Silvervein. Let's have a look at Fiora Silvervein then. Um, there we go. Just do that. So, oops. Oh, sorry. First of all, I get to lose a, uh, a thing yes. from each of these stars. So One fatigue. That. Each. In my four actions. Oh, I'm the... sorry, Ron uh, pushed himself earlier, right? So yeah, so he's exhausted now. Yep. Oh, actually, sorry. No, I I I, I took that back because I ended up uh, not using him. I oh, okay, him. that's right. Yeah, that's why I was like, something weird happened there. Yeah. Okay, and then if we look at this, we can I can pass the ball basically, um, and plus one point for each. Da -da 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 -da. Active player. Yeah, pass all is right. super important to keep your defense up, essentially, right? Because you don't yeah. want to keep moving forward all the time. So passing, if you got a, a player who's going to catch it, who has a high agility, a high three, skill three, rating, five. that's good. So let's have a look at uh, Lars. Lars has three there. Ooh, oh, but what's about Benry? Benry is um, uh, three as well. Okay. So I would take, uh, you would take an additional two die, basically, if I was to throw that um, against Right, because the range is one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. And his, Lars's catching skill is three, so that's two, uh, five is two over three, so yeah, plus two dice okay. for me as the uh, interceptor. Yeah, okay. Uh, right, okay, no, we'll just run for a bit, I think. So um, Fiora is going to run, and her run is two, so we'll take one of these. Flip that over there. What's her special skill? That's, that's okay. She will run two. One, two. So that's okay. We can do that. Now we've got one, two, three. We could pass now because the receiving uh, skill is only three. Uh, if I move to Lars. Yep. Yeah. So I think that's what we Now don't forget, you, you get a a, um, a bonus uh, if you have a, um, a supporting player uh, even during a pass. So that would be in, in your... Uh, launching area. So if you had someone with your pass, the, the so, thrower. Then uh, what's the thing? It's two. I'd have to take fatigue. I wouldn't be able to do that because she could only move two. So a dash would give her additional fatigue, and then I'd have to exhaust her basically. So um, which would then let's look at that. Uh, okay. No, we're just going to throw to uh, to Lars over here. I think we're going to try it. I think. Yep. Yeah. So. Right, we're going to pass. So my pass is going to be, uh, it's on skill. She has, uh, it's the receiving player's skill, isn't it? So he has three there, so. Yeah, so if you, you had a bonus or something. So I'm going to intercept with, uh, what's his name? Shigura. Yeah. Shigura has a skill of three. Uh, and like I said, the range here is fine, so I don't get a bonus, unfortunately. No, I'm going to go three, and I'm going to also go with the uh, with the gambit die, is what I'm going to do. Uh... Uh, still early in the game, so oh, but this guy benefits on um, infractions with tackling, so I want to save that for then. I I'm not going to use the gambit die. Okay, cool. Here we go then. Blocks, 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 blocks. One, two, three. Uh, minus my two blocks, so that so is a one, one success. So partial. A partial success for a pass. That means that uh, uh, place a ball loose in the target's area. So this mm -hmm. ball goes here, basically. Right. So, uh, if what what does that mean for me now? Then can I pick that up? As, oh, if I were to pick that up, do I just pick it up even though you're in my area? Or um, right now, uh, I can just pick it up, can't I? Yeah, as part as part of a run action. So okay. you have to run. If you're doing anything else, you can't pick it up. Uh, so okay. You, it kind of disables your ability to 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 to, to throw. Yeah. Uh, unless you want to run for you know nothing, you're just using an action essentially. Uh, what's we got for Lars? He's on. T uh, has he got anything there? He's got still got two. So we'll use a run action. So I'm going to try and ev evade you, basically here. Yep. So okay. so I'm going to try and run into in, into this bit here, basically. Yeah. So that is uh, an action for what's his name, Lars. Lars. Oh, sorry. Did Lars do anything this round already? No. Not yet. Not no. Not yet. So, so okay, one that. thing I forgot to mention earlier to clarify: when you flip to your exhausted side, not yeah. only does your your current action end, that player can no longer take actions that turn. So That's it. You can't yeah. keep playing. I, I don't know if I mentioned that. If it was clear. No, you didn't. But it was the end of his go anyway. <laughs> that I think. So that's yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I didn't mention it. Right. So, so all right. So we're, uh, mm -hmm. Uh, so my evade is uh, agility. Lars has an agility yes. of three. 
is three resolve with Shigura. So I'm uh, I'm gonna go obviously with three and the um, and the gambit die. Oh. Well, if you're running, I still have a blocker at least. Or, I mean, I guess you could get to the gate and, and then throw it. Throw it. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm, I'm not going to use the gambit die. Okay, okay. Let's do this then. Locks, locks. Yes, one, two, three, four. How many blocks? Minus my three blocks. Oh, and I got an infraction. Oh, so, if, well, first we resolve the action with a partial success. Yeah, so the partial success partial. says. Uh, the active player loses any remaining moves and stays in the area. They can continue to dash, but I will need to evade again with their dash move. Okay, fine. Um, so, uh, but I've got an infraction, so I don't but get you, to... Yeah, you, the infraction is uh, the, for your first one, which is the yellow, yellow one. Um, yeah. thing. Yeah. But theoretically, you would finish your action before any sort of effects trigger yeah. with that. So are you going to dash or... Um, you know what? We'll give it a go, basically. So that's the okay. final fatigue for him. Um, there we go. And uh, since we're going to start another uh, test, I guess, not to get confused, we'll put that warning there now. I guess, now, so yeah. Forget. And I'm going to do exactly the same again, basically. So I'm All using right. three and... Oh, now keep in mind, if you get the infraction, he'll be booted out uh, for, a p for a penalty. Yeah. Um, the period's almost over. You're yeah. Gonna, you're going to have one more turn, but... I'm using it. I'm using it. You're using it? I'm All using right. it. Uh, I'm going to use it too. Why not? Let's okay. make this uh, Let's crucial do this here. One, two, three. Minus my three blocks. Oh, for God's sake. So that's a failure. A failure says on an evade that uh, the active manager chooses play fatigue on my card or place the active player prone either way the run action ends now he's got no more room for uh, fatigue on his card so i'm going prone i'm just move the ball off there flip that over and that's his action done there basically but i've still got two of these left uh two extra actions mm -hmm. left okay um uh, that's okay so who's this this is uh which one did i use already oh man i should have done it at the bottom shouldn't i uh, i used fiona didn't i so i've not used yes. um Ben... Bridget and Benry and Donald are still good to go. Uh, okay, fine. So we could... Um... In the physical version, uh, you know, what, yeah. what I would do also is I would probably slide the cards in and out slightly so I know who's played. Who's played, so, yeah. Yeah. Okay. We're going to use Donald because uh, he's not just done anything yet. So um, I should go... Uh, he's got two, I believe. Yeah. One, two... Uh, and all we can use, uh, Ben, we can move. Shigura has the ball on the ground, just letting you know that. Yeah. In case you want to think of uh, plays there. And I'm just thinking we got, he can move two as well. But yeah. So if I move Ben Ree into there, one, two, uh, he will pick the ball up automatically, won't he, basically there. Oh, ho, ho, interesting. Yeah. So you've now got to tackle me. We, we, he's got it anyway. Uh, you've now got mm -hmm. to tackle me. That's all my go down there. And yeah. Okay. I am going to advance, or you're going to advance the timer. Yeah. I'm going to remove a fatigue from each of my players. Howler is quite happy about that because he's pushing it. Hmm. All right. This is my final play for this period. Yeah. Uh, now I'm in the lead, which is good. I can either try to extend that lead or just really defend my... Area. Um, all right, let's see what we got here. Ervog is in the bench here. Uh, I'm going to actually activate him with a fatigue or an action here, sorry. Okay. Um, so one, two, three, he can enter this space where all this action is happening. Um, oh, I just realized you have the ball. So yeah. let me backtrack really quick. Before Mervog does anything... Shigura is going to attempt tackle. to tackle uh, Benry here. So Shigura has a cool reckless assault thing. So if ever I receive an infraction during a tackle, I get plus two hits. So okay. uh, yeah, I'm going to totally tackle you uh, with Shigura, which is my might or my power of and four second, dice. And tackle for me is resolve, isn't it? And Benry has mm -hmm. three. Um, so yeah, okay. So uh, you... I will use the gambit because I'm counting on it. Okay, I'm also going to use the gambit as well then. There we go. All right, let's do it. 
I'm looking for blocks. Ooh, okay. Uh, Would I got two hits, but I got an infraction, which is you know good and bad for me now because I got two additional hits. That's really yeah. Cool. So I got two blocks and an infraction. Okay. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. So let's see. I guess the yellow token, the first infractions really matter, so we'll just pop that on there. Uh, even though it's resolved after the action normally. Uh, so I have two. It's a partial success. Uh, so Shigura's tackle, partial. Uh, the opposing manager, which is you, has to choose. Uh, either give um, Benry a fatigue to stand, keep standing up, essentially, or go prone. So well, how badly do you want to hold on to that ball? Uh, <laughs> well, that will flip me over Ooh. to my exhausted side at that point. Um, mm. But I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Okay. So we'll, we'll give him a fatigue, uh, which it takes those up it. there anyway, um, and just flips that over. There we go. Okay, so that put a cramp in my clans, unfortunately. Um, well, you got one more turn after this. This is bad. Uh, I need that ball. <laughs> if I fail this, I'm going to open it wide for you to just run. I don't know what to do. I'll be quite honest here. Mervog, can he even make it back? I'm going to burn him out if I do that. One, two, three. You know what? I'm going to try it. Mervog is going to take one of my other actions here to oh, run. He's going to come all one, the way two, back. One, two, three. Yeah. Um, and he is going and to dash. essentially... Dash by taking an additional fatigue from the pool. Oh, and I just realized. Yeah, that's fine. It'll it'll uh, fatigue him, him, but he ends uh, where he wanted to be. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Um. So now I have two remaining actions. But he's is, is he exhausted now though? Oh, hang on a sec. Did I, just, I used the wrong guy again. <laughs> so that was Mervog in the bench. Rudgrot was over here. I don't know why I was thinking that. So Rudgrot. Okay, let's pull that back here. So Rudgrot actually. Mervog remains with his two. Three, uh, uh, his two. Yeah, two on there, yeah. That's right, yep. Um, Cranky, come on. There we go. Okay, backtracking. Mervog is the one that I wanted to get out um, here. So, uh, sorry, Rudgrot is the one I wanted to move. So, Rudgrot took one to run, three, and then he does it again. So, he's the one who goes fatigued, uh, exhausted. Exhausted. Okay. So it's essentially just the wrong guy. Yeah. <laughs> I got to read the names. Uh, I was so excited. Um, all right. So here we go. Um, what do I do? I guess Mervog, who is in the encampment, should yeah. come out to play. But that will exhaust him if I do that. Mm. But uh, period's ending. Let's do it. So Mervog will actually walk out. Goes exhausted as well. Okay. And he, oh man, but he's got he three. Has a, he's got uh, three. He had a move of three, three. correct? Yeah. So, what do I do here? Because, you know, what? just in case you try something crazy, <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> this is it. I'm done. You're done. I'm gonna advance this final turn of the period. Okay, over to me. Wow. Okay, so I get to remove one fatigue off all of these anyway. Just to... Yeah. Flip my four. I'll just leave them as they are. Right, okay. Uh, do I want to take a timeout? Uh, the answer is no at this stage. Uh, Benry's still got the ball. So Benry, uh, Benry could shoot. And what's Benry? His power, isn't it, basically, on Benry? Yeah. Uh, it, uh, for shooting, it's this the star, which is a oh, skill. Oh, it's a skill. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, what's, what's Benry's yeah. skill? Now, Lars is uh, down, so and... you'd have to give him a fatigue to stand up to help with any sort of support. If that's what yeah. Yeah. Uh, and Lars' skill is only three anyway. Three, 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 three. My guys aren't really good at great at throwing shit. Um, so... Yeah, to be honest, neither am I. I think the, the elves, the high elves, have slightly better um, <laughs> skill overall. But there's always one in the team that's better than the others. Yeah. Well, you know what? We're just going to try it. Okay, so Benry is going to shoot, basically. So he's going to do for two, which is fine there. So no support from Lars? Um, oh, there is a support in an active player, isn't there? Yeah, one sec. Oh, yeah, okay, fine. So, all right, so, yeah. Now, this is going to be tough for you, because not only do I have an, a possible interceptor in any one of these three, yeah. but I have two supporting characters essentially um, blo uh, causing havoc for you uh, in, in your zone. Yeah. So, um, you know part what? of your shoot, I'm going to get a plus two just for that. So, uh, yeah. I don't care. I don't care. So, well, we take the... Um... The flip is that, from the supply. The supply, the isn't it? Oops, yeah. one thing. There we go. Could have just done that. Uh, so he's okay. So he's there. And then Benry is going to shoot. So we'll use my action to make Benry shoot. 
Okay. Three plus one is four. Um, and the range is two, so that's fine. Yeah. Um, who is an intercept? Who has the higher skill? I think they're all three. They're all three. So let's just have, um, I guess, uh, Mervog stop the ball. Let's see if he can do it. But either way, Rudgrot and Shigura are going to be supporting players for my role. Okay, fine. I am going to use the Gambit die because I think I'd be close <laughs> So that is three plus the two. So I got five. And I've so got, you're, you're four. I got five. Uh, four, four plus one. Yeah. So hmm. I, I'm not gonna bother uh, because Shig I, I chose Shigura. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, I'm gonna use Rudgrot as the interceptor actually, which doesn't change anything. But at least he doesn't have an infraction already, so I'm actually gonna add the Gambit die. Oh yes. Yeah. Okay, this big die play, people. This, this is, is important. <laughs> Here we go then. One, let's go. I start. I start. Oh, one, no. two, three, four, five. A single block, so you get it, and I get an infraction with Rutgrot. Oh, man. Oh, what's Rutgrot's special Ooh. power? Did he have a special power? No, he doesn't have uh, anything. Maybe, but it's, he's exhausted. So. But you know what has happened, though, is I've scored the goal, but I've got my second infraction as well at the same time. So I do score, <laughs> but he gets... It doesn't matter. He's sent off the pitch at the end of the period, basically. So, that's so you got... Uh... Plus two on the scoreboard, so you're four. Hey. Nice throw. Yeah, and he's got his second infraction, which means that he gets moved over to my um... penalty box. Yeah, but it doesn't matter because it's the end, end of the period. Of the period. <laughs> so that was a good play. The crowd goes nuts. You're, you kind of like walk, uh, you know, uh, with a smile on your face, <laughs> or I guess teleport with a smile on your face. Yeah. You can't, so. All right, brilliant. So that was a good... Yeah, that was a good, uh, good, good first, first period. period. Definitely. Tighter than I thought it would end up being. Exactly. So what's the what's cleanup phase in now? What happens in cleanup? Uh, cleanup is quite simple. You remove all the fatigue from your players. Okay. They keep their infractions the whole game, though. You can't get rid of that. And do they uh, oh, do they become unexhausted or they don't? They do not. No, no, they, no. So you, you basically pull everyone out of their slots and you make a new squad, but they keep their exhausted state. Okay. So we're going to set up the second, and you're going to start the second period as the aggressor. Excellent. So keep that in mind. And then you're going to place your characters wherever you want in your half of the field. You give the ball to whoever you want. Okay. And you can't have more than two people per area, as we said. Um, that's the only stipulation. Okay. And if you look on the card down here, if you flip the kind of the, the, the squad card down here, it gives you some quick start ideas for, uh, for what I should do. So for looking at me yep. as the aggressor, I could have a sentinel or a ranger right in front of goal. And then Guardian Specialist Charger, basically. So, um, what do I have? And you don't have to declare who has the ball uh, either, you, you, you know, because you kind of throw me off that way, I suppose. Because yeah. um, anyone can run and pick it up as part of the run action. Basically. Okay, so Specialist Ranger, uh, we'll go there. Um, Lars is pretty good, so we'll take Lars. We'll have Lars there. And you're also going to dig through your deck of tactics cards and pick two. Uh, what about the one I did period? and didn't end up using? Uh, it, you you can use it again if you'd like. It hasn't been discarded officially, so it but, goes back to your deck for selection. All right, I see. Fine. Okay, that's cool. Right. Oops, okay. Oh, I don't know. We've done that. Okay. Um, I'm going to put Guardian and Benry. Oops, that's the wrong thing. Benry is going to come. So Benry comes back out of the uh, encampment anyway, doesn't he? Basically, he doesn't yeah, yeah. Everyone there. essentially goes back to the encampment, yeah. the huddle, and come up with a plan. Uh, between periods. And I, I flipped your focus card as well because Thank yours you. resets each period. I don't know who to bring in here. I'm going to try this. Yeah, I'm going to try with this, I think. Hmm. Guardian, Guardian. I don't have that. Oops. <clears throat> now, again, if you're removing anyone uh, to the bench, don't forget to keep their warnings on them. That's important. Okay. And if, again, their exhausted state. Uh, I think this is a good play. Oh, that's right. Uh... I can change people, can't I? Let's just have a look here. What have we got? We have two, three. Three and a three. Oh, okay, fine. 
So, yeah, at the start of the game, you may be pushing yourself to the limit. You're like, I'll go exhausted, that's fine. But sometimes, you, by the second period, you're like, okay, this is going to cause some issues. I have too many exhausted guys or guys with warnings. <laughs> but I can, I, can, I can switch my players out here, can't I, basically, at this point? Yeah, 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 so yeah, you yeah, make yeah, a whole yeah. new squad yeah. and a whole new bench. Yeah, okay, so we'll do that. So the catch, uh, and I forgot to mention also about the timeout, is that if you're swapping uh, a guy out with a timeout because he's exhausted on the field, for example, yep. um, at the end of the period, uh, normally if you had anyone exhausted in your bench, they would refresh, right, uh, for right. the new lineup potentially. If they had their timeout token on them, though, because they came to the bench mid-period, uh, instead of flipping them to their fresh side, you only remove that timeout token okay. as an indicator, and they remain exhausted because they weren't in the bench the whole period. Okay, fine. So, yeah, makes sense. But we haven't used timeout, so it doesn't really matter. But uh, okay, here we go. So I'm gonna try to position my guys a little bit. I got Kravok. I got Fron. Murvog's over here on the bench. I'm okay with this. I think. And Coltran. Finky. All right. And I gotta place these guys. They cannot be in your bastion, by the way. That's the one stipulation as well. Oh, oh so, so they they can be in your blue area. That's fine. Oh, see what you're uh, saying? Yes, yeah. yeah they, they just can't be in the bastion. Yeah. Okay, I think I'm done there. I have a fresh squad. I have a couple of tactics that I've uh, <laughs> um, that I'm happy with. I think. I'm trying a very bizarre approach here. I have no idea if this is going <laughs> to work for me. But, uh, yeah, I, you'll notice I brought out the small, dinky green guy here. He's not an orc. He's a goblin, but oh, he's, right. he's slippery. So you'll notice that uh, his ability <laughs> is if he is the ball carrier, he can only be tackled if I have no one protecting him in that area. Right, okay. Otherwise, fine. they're, they're, they're bodyguards. <laughs> All right, so that okay. said, uh, I'm happy with my lineup. Okay, I think I'm happy with mine. One second. If you're, uh, uh, and I can pass the, the ball to any one of my players, and basically, yeah? Is that right? Pretty much, yeah. yeah. You can put it in any area, and then that way. Like, if you have two guys in your area, I won't know who's going to pick it up until you do so. so. Okay, fine. Uh, but I'm actually going to put it here with uh, what's the face. Okay, so now once we're ready, we'll just Mark put the token to the hourglass side. Yeah. And uh, you get four actions. Oh, and, sorry, I look at my tactics cards. That might help. I didn't yeah. do that. Uh, but uh, let's see here. Oh, I like this one. This is a good one to take. And uh, also, some of these cards, you might notice they have words in parentheses. Uh, that just stipulates um, the condition of the character. So sometimes it might say ball carrier, so you have to be the ball carrier to do this action. Yeah. Or, um, you know, prone or something like that. Okay. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Ooh, all right, I like this. <laughs> all right, I'm ready to rock. Okay, cool. Right, so for my first move. I'm going to... Um, okay, fine. So we are going to... Uh, yeah, Morik Rockland is going to go. I don't need a timeout. Obviously, don't need any of that. And she gets to move uh, three. So that's good. So one, two, three. Going up to there. Okay. There we go. Uh, for her action, what's say? Right. Uh, yeah, and she's going to now d -d 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 dash, I believe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So I put it on there. And we're gonna go one, two, just to there. Now you're having a stare down with Finky. <laughs> <laughs> then next up we have our friend. Uh, I think Donald's gonna go next. Yeah. So he's gonna go two. One, two. Uh, then he's going to take the ball. Yeah, we're going to dash with him as well. 
So let's just do that. Okay. Uh, see the same area, sorry, the line. No, which is the no, room. she's there. Okay. So okay. yeah, cool, cool. But he's gonna go to there and take the ball. Uh huh. Mm. Okay. Uh, oh, I see what you're doing here. Oh no, okay, never mind. I thought I saw what you're doing, but maybe not. I'm glad you see, because I have no friggin' idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't either, really. So. <laughs> right, okay. Um, and then we got Stern McGurney. Uh, where's Stern? There. They got move. Oh, they got three. So Stern can move through one, two. Yeah. Okay. So Stern is going to move next. Uh, we'll do that. Uh, uh, flip. And they will move two, one, two. Then they're going to take a fatigue token to dash. One, two, pick that ball up, and then we are going to one, two, one, two, three, four, five. Ooh. Yeah, okay, we're going to attempt a shot. Okay, so we've, just in case people aren't, um, you know, sure at home, you essentially um, count all the spaces to, to the target, and then you um, you have to if if there's equidistance uh, paths that are you know different possible paths, uh, they all count in terms of me being able to select possible yeah. uh, resisting players. So, so sorry, we got one, two, three, four, five, basically there, or I could come. Either way, you're going to get through these players here, I think. Yeah. Right. So these two, one and two. Yeah. So you so, get to choose out of either of those. They all have a skill of three, but I think I'm going to have a little Finky try to, to catch this uh, this ball here. Okay. Cool. So um, again, we take a look at this shoot here. So you're going to get a plus one because you got support. Yeah. So uh, Finky skill. does not have support. I uh, I don't have anybody in your area to mess with you, so I don't get a plus one for that. Yeah. But I do get a plus. Uh, Two, I believe, right? Is it ex yeah, it's, uh, it's the area. Yeah. Uh, actually, sorry. So five spaces away. Five, six, three. You get yeah. Oh, so I get three extra dice because I get plus one uh, for each point by which the range exceeds two. Yeah. So Finky's gonna have a roll of six dice. That's okay. I'm gonna have three plus one, uh, so that gives me four dice. Um, and I'm okay with that. Uh, I'm not going to use the Gambit die. Okay. So I am. There we go. You ready? Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, What did oh, you get? This is... I got two blocks. Fuck. I only... Uh, I mean, bugger. I only got two... <laughs> <laughs> I only got two hits. Um... So I, I actually did manage to, uh, to stop to that. Stop that. a failure. Yeah, it's a failure. If anybody could see my screen right now, they understood why I was going for this. Um... Okay, so a failure, he gets to stop, it's a shoot, it's a failure, you get to choose, I take possession of the ball, oh sorry, yeah, the uh, resisting player takes possession of the ball, or they place the ball loose in any area in the thrower's path, including the... I'm I definitely going to take possession of the ball with little Finky, although, hang on, how many actions, oh that was your last action, whew, okay, so I will take possession of the ball. Okay. Ah, awesome. there it is, there, there we go. go. Boom, Okay. I think he's like, hey guys, I'm helping. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, did you have anything else uh, up your sleeve somehow? Like no. Tactics that might be played at the end of your turn. Uh, no, or... couldn't. Couldn't there. Uh, no. Nope. Okay. You'll go. So, I moved the timer. Yeah, you'll go. Perfect. Let me reread my tactics really quick here. This might be useful. Uh... Oof. This is tough. This is tough. All right, so let's let's do this here. Who? Oh, these are my heavy hitters. They're down here. Uh, Gultran will take my first uh, of my four actions. Here. He will do this, and he will just run into uh, Morik's space to try to you know block him a little bit. Um. And oh yeah, thrill of the fight says if I end a run action uh, with someone essentially. Uh, I, I don't count this as a uh, fatigue. That's right, yep. Um, do I want... Yeah, Gultran will also attempt a tackle uh, while he's at it here. So he's got a uh, power of three. So he, uh, he's just going to tackle me even though I don't have the ball? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You can tackle anybody. 
<laughs> the ball carrier cannot tackle, though. That is that is important. The ball carrier can only run or throw the ball. Right, okay. So Goltran is going to basically pave the way for Finky, essentially. Okay, we've got <laughs> Morik. you down. And a tackle for Rorik is, as a resisting player, is Resolve. And uh, my Resolve is four. So that's good. Does he have any special abilities or anything? That's a uh, no, charge, no, yeah, full charge. Yep. My power is only three, so you've actually got a better resolve. Mm, uh, I, I'm not going to use the uh, gambit. Okay, cool. Yep. All right. There we go. Uh, one, two, three, four for me. Ooh. Ooh. See. Um, I failed that. Yeah. It's, it's... So failed tackle. Uh, I have to choose to either go prone to make myself a partial success, and if I were a partial success, you'd get a fatigue, or go prone. Uh, I'm not. I'm not going to go prone. I just failed. Um. So in that case. Ooh, does Finky want to do this? Yeah, why not? Finky's going to run in. Like, hey, 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 here I come. <laughs> um, now, if I were to run out, uh, I would, um, you know, still be subject to evasion. Uh, but let's see here. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, so that would be plus two, uh, plus three to your roll. And you'd get at least plus one because of that. So that's a bad idea for me to do that. <laughs> um, hmm, I probably should send Goltrand farther. Uh, I think he's going to stay there for now. Okay. And uh, from the Howler, uh, he's going to run into uh, your space over here. Okay. Uh, he's going to end his action there, but uh, that means he doesn't get a fatigue because fatigue. of the yep. thrill of the fight. And uh, I'm going to end my turn there. Okay. Interesting turn. Didn't go yeah. where I planned it. More strategical than tactical, that I think. So I get to remove a fatigue off each of mine. So one, two, three. Okay. Uh, look at the thing. I'm not going to take a time out. So now I get four actions. So what are my four actions? What I could do is I could tackle. What's the you have to ta here? tackle Goltran first because Finky can't be tackled as long as there's other standing players in my area. Ooh, okay, fine. So that's so, why Goltran is yeah. there. It's kind of like you know the meat shield for Finky. And for you for tackle, it is uh, you're on resolve and I'm on power basically. And Goltran mm -hmm. has three resolve and uh, Morik has four power. Hold on. Hmm. That is. An advantage for you for sure. Uh, then I've got bull charge. Move this into an adjacent area. Um, then I can make uh, that's no good, basically. So I can only take these people out for this bull charge. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to tackle then Gultran, I think. Yeah, so that would be the first. Now, thing. Gultran actually does get support from Finky as well, which yeah. is interesting. Yeah. Yeah, and I don't right, think. So I get a four resolve total. Hold on a sec. And my tackle is. What is my tackle? It's power, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so let's do that. So put that on, on there. Uh, I get four. It's not worth doing anything else. Okay, four, and I'm going to use the Gambit die. Uh, I won't. Okay, here we go then. Here we go. Oh, two blocks only. Oh, all right. one, two, three, four, five, uh, and an infraction. So So you you did get your full success on that tackle. Yeah. So I, I go down, essentially. Yep. Boom. Uh, you do get your infraction. Yep. With, uh, who is it, Mark? Yep. Um, and that's okay. So now... Um, uh, here it is. I think that's him. Yep. That's it. Yep. Uh, let's look here. Uh, play one. Okay, that's fine. So now we're going to go for a tackle against... Pinky. Uh, what's Pinky's no. resolve? Two. <laughs> oh God! Against my power of four, so we're going to do that. Although, although, here's the interesting bit: you've already tackled with Morik. Yeah. They can't do the same thing, can they? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fine. All that Morik can do is. So look. You got someone else coming, of course, but. Yeah, actually, Morik's got two fatigue on there anyway, so that's fine. That's okay. Um. Uh, but that's still blocking Pinky from doing anything, so I'm okay with that. Uh, Donnell has got 
Uh, I've got that on there. Stop that. At two. So we can evade and go into there, but that's no good because of that. One sec. And what have we got here? Who else? We've got Stern McGurney. Then there are three. Okay, let's just move forward, I think, with uh, now. Here's what we're going to do. I'll, I'll just, uh, you know, throw yeah. some encouraging noises in the background. West, start. Yeah. West, start. <laughs> Here we go. I said encouraging. I didn't say for you. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I'm going to just move uh, Fjorn just there. Okay. Um, and then we are going to... Oof. Uh, we're going to just tackle Ron, I think, um, with Stern McGurney. Okay. Yeah. I went after my guy with his final warning here. Yeah. It's making it hard for me to so my, choose what I want. My to power do. is four plus one is five to tackle Oof. Stern McGurney. I'm not going to use I, I, I got a three on Ron here. Um, four. Uh, I I can't take that risk just yet, so I'm just gonna roll without the gambit. Well, actually, you have to choose, right? First, so are you doing? Yeah, it? I'm not doing the gambit. No, no, no. Okay, so yeah, I, I definitely won't then. Um, all right, you ready? Yeah, let's do this. Locks, locks, locks. Oh, oh no my! Locks. Yeah, one, uh, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, it's a full-on. You guy is flipped. No. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> On my face, I howl in pain. Yeah. Uh, and then I've got one action left. Uh, so Donnell, I think. Yeah. Uh, one, two. Yeah, he's going to move to two. Let's do that. And we're just going to move Donnell. Hold on a sec, actually. A sec. Okay, fine. Yeah, we're going to move Donnell, uh, just kind of position him a little bit, one, two, just there. Okay, okay and that's my go done. Wrong pawn there, like I keep doing, sorry. Oh, Doesn't sorry. Make sure difference, yeah. but just, you know, keep track. Over to you. Okay, oh, and your card, uh, eight, your, your, your tokens underneath the card. Okay. Cool. The joys of digital playing. Okay, well, that was, a, that was an interesting turn, because now, hmm, uh, you advanced the hourglass, correct? Yeah, I did, yep, yep. All right, let me clear some fatigue here. Actions. This, oh, this is tough. I, I don't know. I'm going to have to play um, this tactic, I think. Actually, before I do that, let me play my once-per-game focus, Devious. So once per game, I can flip this card to look at your tactics. So I will do that now. Let me see what you've got hiding in your hand, sir. I will just put them on the table briefly. Oh, wow. There we go. Like this. I can see what you got. Okay, so you got the partial to full success card. Good yeah. to know. And run the gauntlet. Uh, play with one of your players makes a run. Nominate an area that contains at least one standing player from your team that is not the active player. For the duration of this action, the active player evades automatically when leaving that area. Oh, wow. So you've got like a, a, a helping hand to avoid evasion tests. Yeah. That's interesting. All right. Take those back. Um, okay. Ooh. Okay, well, let's see here. Uh, I'm going to play Extra Effort, which is basically I gain an extra action token for this turn. Okay. So, what is my plan? I am going to stand Gultran with a Fatigue from the Pool. Uh, sorry. Yeah, there he is. Stands up, and he stares at you with fiery intent. He's like, all right. He's going to use one of these actions to tackle you. Okay. So, so that is going to be his power of three with Finky's support four total. And I'm Rurik. Uh, we have four there basically, so I've got four there. Uh, I'm going to definitely add the uh, Gambit die on this. Okay. I'm not because I've got an infraction. So. <laughs> okay. Okay. Here we go. Okay, one sec. Yes! <laughs> six. Oh. Six blocks. One, two, three, four, five successes. Check this out. Uh, six. Even if I did that. One, two, three, four, five. 
do I want to do this now? Let me check something really quick. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I'm going to do it anyways. Uh, so I'm going to play this card here, Fight Dirty. Okay. So basically my blocks are also counted as hits. Um, then I have to roll for possible infraction, so I'll get to that in a second. Oh, shoot, I already have the infraction. Never yeah. mind, I won't play this card, and I just revealed what I have. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, I'm just going to go with my... Uh, Shoot, so you got six blocks? Six I blocks. I just killed my, my, my thing. Darn. What's the special uh, power? What's the special power? Uh, Goltran is just if I end a run. Uh, it's it's not the one who gets two hits for a, an infraction. No, no. no I wish no. it was. Okay, so in this case, I failed. So I can go prone to make you go prone. Um, is right? It? Uh, yeah. Hackle. Uh, what's uh, Morik's current state? He's uh, pretty full up there. Yeah. Oh, and he's actually got... Too fatigue. Interesting. Let's let's see what happens here then. Uh, I will go prone uh, with uh, with Gultran. You okay. just stood up too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and this this will basically force you to choose. Do you? Uh, this is a partial success now. Essentially, do you want to take a fatigue with Morik or go prone as well? Um. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, one second. Let me just uh, flip the card over and just see what's on the other side of the card. Uh. Two and two, still some healthy actions. Um, we'll take the fatigue and go um, and go exhausted. That's okay. I'm okay with that. Okay, interesting. All right. So that uh, I see, I see. So I just fell over with Gold Train. Can't do anything else. Boo. <laughs> um, Finky doesn't like that, but Fron is over here. I mean, Fron can stand up, so he'll stand up uh, out of uh, bag here. Okay. And. Um, What's he going to do? He will attempt to uh, evade Stern over here. So he's going to run, essentially. So he's going to take this to run. Okay. So uh, I don't have to declare where I'm going just yet, but his intent is to run. So it's my agility evade. is three. And I do resolve, no don't I? Gambit. And I've got my guardian. No yeah, other you yeah. have no okay. other guardians. No other guardians there. So I've got three. Yeah. Are three, you, three? Are you using? I'm not using it. You're not using it. Um, I'm going to use it. Alrighty. Okay. Let's do this. Ooh, four successes. Well, four two, hits. two blocks and an infraction for me. So you get okay. two. So it's partial. Partial evade. Uh, I lose my remaining moves with him, but I, uh, I have to stay in this area. But I can continue to dash to try evading again. Ooh. Um, that's going to be an expensive proposition for Ron. Um, but you know what? Let's do it. I'm going to dash, uh, pushing him to his maximum of three at this point. I'm going to try again. So you pick your infraction. Yeah. Uh, and we're doing the same test again, essentially. So it's three with three. no gambit for me. And three with no gambit for me. All right. This time, things will go my way. Two. Oops. Two. Ah, you just ate them all. So, okay. Well, at this point, I'm not going to keep dashing. Otherwise, uh, I'd go exhausted. So, so the failure right. is... Oh, uh, yeah, fine. Yep, that's cool. Ugh, so this is tough, because my defense guys are the only ones, really, who are going to be helpful at this point. But, uh... Hmm. Let's try this. Brickend over here. I should have done this first, but... Meh. Finky, Finky, what are you doing, man? You need some help, I think. <laughs> uh, all right, Kravok, actually. Kravok is going to run... Oh, he only runs two. That's fine. It's going to run two. Uh, and then I'm just going to move over to Finky. Finky is going to do a run, try to evade uh, Mr. Morik over here. Finky has an agility of four. And Morik is for evade. They're looking at resolve. We have a resolve of four. Burn. Uh, I'm going to take the Gambit die. Okay. No, I'm not, obviously, because... Uh... We're on an infraction. <laughs> One more. Yeah. Well, you're still in your yellow, so you're yeah. But no. All right, here we go. Hits, 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 hits. One, two, three, four hits. Two blocks. Darn. Evasion with two block or two successes says partial. I lose my remaining moves and I can dash if I want to keep going. Whew. What are your uh... at this point? One, two, three, four, five. You'd still get plus three, plus four. Ooh. Yeah. 
a rough one. Um, I think, ah, man, I really want to like hail Mary this thing, but I'm just <laughs> going to, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna push Finky to another dash, uh, okay. so he's gonna max out essentially on his. So, uh, it's, number card. so this is for an evasion then again, yeah. Evasion again, yeah. Okay. Uh, four with my gambit again. Okay, fine. I'm not using gambit. Okay. I mean, something's got to give here. You're not even using the gambit die. I gotta get out of here. Here we go. Go. Oh no. What'd you get? I got five with an infraction. Uh, well, you can't. I've got one. Um, one block. One block. Yeah. Perfect. So that is a full success. So I can continue my dash, uh, which is a big fat four with Finky. But so you... he's actually gonna go one, two. Ooh. Do I want to get up close and per Yeah, I'm going to get up close and personal. Why not? <laughs> uh, I do get my infraction. Luckily, it's the first yeah. one, so nothing big here. And his final uh, action will exhaust him, unfortunately, but it will be to throw the ball through the gate and hopefully score a so precious, shoot. precious right, Skill goal. for me. What's his skill level, I think is? Three. Three. And... So, um, yeah, it's just full-on me versus you. Bridget. No bonuses. Three and three. Uh, I I am going to use the gambit. I'm going to use the gambit. At this point, if he goes to the bench, well, I'll, I'll pay the price. Yeah. Sick. All right. Okay, let's Come do on, Pinky. Don't fail me. Bridget, here we go. I get two blocks. That's enough to block it. Ah. Uh, of a gun. All right. That's so a failure. That is a fail. It falls. Uh, basically in your zone, I believe. Yeah. Uh, shoot, failure. You choose. Does it go... Uh, you take possession or it falls in any area along the path. I mean, I'm going to take possession. It just makes perfect sense. Yeah, that's sense what I thought. Yeah, so. yeah. Uh, it should be on his base there. In fact, back here. Oh, I left it behind. <laughs> uh, that, was, uh, yeah. that was a tough play. I, I thought I could do it, but uh, that's it. Okay. End of my turn. Move right. the hourglass. Okay, over to me. I get to uh, remove it. Oops. Remove fatigue from everybody. So one from you, one from you, and one from you. Right. So if I want to pass, what am I looking at? Uh, ooh, we could um, one, two. I'm not sure, Bridget. What's your moves, Bridget? Oh, sake. Play one. No, no, no. Okay. Oh, and you still have your versatile card, I just realized. Yeah. Hmm. One, two, dash, one, two. Pass, two, three. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, move number one. We are going to... Um, I just need a token. Uh, we are going to... Move two with the ball. One, two to there. Then we're going to dash. Hmm. Take that. Gives me another two. One, two to there. Close enough. Then we're going to use her final. Word again. Uh, token stack. There you go. Then we're going to use uh, my second action. Trying to fix this for you. Should be two. <laughs> should be two on there. I think, yeah, it's, yeah, it's falling under the card. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Then we're going to use her final action to throw, and we are going to throw to um, what's her face, Donnell. Uh, oh, yeah, cool. and he's got a reception of three, uh, and I am three away. One, two, three, and I'm not throwing through one of your players. Is that right? Oh, is it any uh, path? Yeah, you have to calculate any possible any path possible path. Away. So Ron yeah. does have the chance. Yeah. So what is his agility uh, skill? He's got a skill of three. It's not bad. Okay. Uh, I don't get any bonuses, though. And uh, Okay, all right, so it's just three versus your three. Is that correct? Yeah, it is. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'm going to use the uh, the Gambit die. Uh, the, uh, what's it, face? Uh, yeah, the Gambit, Gambit die? Yeah. yeah. Ooh, uh, Fron has his warning already, his final warning. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Okay. So I'm just going to roll normal. Let's do this, then. Here we go. One block, one hit. 
<laughs> nice. Hold on. Oh man, that was rubbish. Uh, Is it fraction two. Oh yeah, fraction two. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, so two. failed pass. Um, I get to choose to either take possession or place it loose. I'll take possession, I guess, with uh, with uh, Ron here. So let's just do that. Yeah, you know, I should have used my um, versatile. Could have gotten mm. to die. Oh well. Uh, and you get an infraction with who was that? Bridget. Bridget. Yeah. Your 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 team is uh, just as bad as mine apparently. <laughs> oh no, actually that's not true. I do have an extra one, so <laughs> and one of the on the red side, so yeah. you're still okay. Okay. Uh, so that does uh, put a cramp in your plan, I guess. It does a little bit, um, but I'm still okay with this, I think. So next move then is going to be um, over to. Marik. Morik? Morik. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they're going to move 1 2 and pick that ball up from um, Ujima Flip from Bridget. It's there somewhere. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so they've now got the oh, ball. Oh, I have the ball. You have the ball. I intercepted, if you remember. Oh, sugar. Yeah. Oh, man. So you can run to me and try to a tackle you. Uh, uh, doesn't Morik have a special ability? Did Not anymore because they're exhausted. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> One second. Um, Oh, so you've seen this card already, basically. So I've forgotten to be honest. So. Uh, okay, no, it doesn't matter because I, I it doesn't matter. They haven't got the ball. There was something about being able to evade easily if you yeah. had a, a teammate there. Uh, yeah, it's okay. I think Stern McGurney is going to tackle. Uh, uh, what's his face? Then that's what we're going to do instead. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So Stern McGurney is going to tackle Ron. And therefore, a tackle is. Uh, where am I looking? Tackle. Uh, power plus power. one for supporting player. There is no supporting player, but I got four power on that. I have three resolve. Oh, and you keep going after Huron. See, he's the one with, with the final warning. I, yeah. I worry about him being ejected, but you know what? Um, it's not that bad. I, I will not use the gambit. Well, I'm assuming I, you have to declare first. I'm not using uh, gambit, die. Gonna... No. Yeah. No. Okay. I will not either, so. Okay, let's do this. Thing. Oh. Sorry about that. That's I okay. might have a special delivery here. Is it a good package? Okay, apologies. That's okay. I just got a very important uh, package, what we discussed earlier. Oh, excellent. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Fantastic. That's exciting. You were wondering whether that was going to arrive. Okay, yes, so. Yes, So you can go ahead and, you know, I, continue as you left off. Excellent. So I got one, two, three, four uh, blocks, and you got, uh, sorry, four hits, and you got. No blocks. Nothing. In I, I, yeah. I let it happen, apparently. <laughs> so this is a tackle. Uh, it's a success. So therefore, your player is now prone. Yep. Unfortunately. Yep. And there goes the ball. Okay, fine. Um, and what I have now, then, is... So that's a tackle. Oh, man. The McGinney is there. Um, and what's their move? It is two. So we could go one, two. That's the full done there. I can pass. But that's going to take. That's going to heat that up. And I, oh, do I have? Oh, I don't have it. That was last round. One, two, one, two. Uh, right. Okay. Let's exhaust Stern McGurney for my last action. Uh -huh. uh, now keep in mind um, that will end the action immediately after, so you can't. After, um, yeah. Do anything yeah, else. You can't dash. Yeah. Yeah. But I can do one, two to there, basically. With the ball, I'm assuming. With the ball, Which is yeah. behind my yeah. upside down guy. There we go. And that Boom. is the Boom. end of my go then there, basically. Ooh, okay, okay. We're getting close to the end of the period here. Yeah. This is uh, scary. I'm not sure what the best plan is here. I have some guys all the way to the other end of the field, so I might as well try to use that to my advantage. Let me clear some fatigue. Okay, I gotta be smart here. How am I gonna do this? I get that ball. All right, so for successes, uh, for successes, wow, for, for actions. Uh, actions, for successes ahead of time. I'm just calling it. <laughs> here we go. So, Kravok is going to um, run one, two into this area. There we go. Uh, and then he will immediately spend another action to tackle with his big five. <laughs> yeah, it's the uh, stacking mechanism that makes the, car, the tokens go under. There we go. So 
He's going to roll a big five against you. Now he has a uh, special ability called Hurl. So when this player scores a full success on a tackle, I can choose to place the target prone in an adjacent area. Okay. So I don't j just knock you down. I send you flying. <laughs> so it's Stern McGurney for me, isn't it? And um, Yes. On Resolve, and Stern has three on Resolve, plus one Resolve for each friendly guardian in the area. And Donnell is a... Sentinel. Sentinel. Brilliant. Okay, so what are you and rolling? You have a, a bonus from him. So that's four. Though. Yeah, okay. Uh, and she's... Uh, I really, really need to make this happen, so I am going to use the gambit. Okay. Uh, just have to think if that doesn't work. That doesn't work. Hold on. Uh, what else is Demi going to got on there? Oh, okay. So we're going to use this. The uh, the verse, uh, oh, verse the tile. Verse yeah, which gives me an extra die to put in there. So there we go. Good. Uh huh. Yeah. Are you using the gambit? Um. Do you know what? Why not? Basically. Uh, <laughs> okay. Here we go. Let's do this. Oh. Okay. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight successes or hits. Man, yeah, I I get old. I get two blocks basically, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> that is still a full success. So not only do I knock you prone, uh, I knock you prone somewhere else. So I'm going to send you. Um, Where do you want to move? No, let's send you here. Okay. So that is that. Um, so I can, I've already run. I've already tackled with him. Um, so I'm going to send in Brickend over here. And he's going to run into this area and pick up the ball. Into, yeah. Um, oh, that does put a cramp in my plan. I just realized I don't have enough actions to do what I wanted to do. But uh, you know what? Let's do it anyways. I'm going to um, I'm going to th th I want to throw the ball. I should probably try to throw the ball. Oh, it's a thinky. Yeah. But you Let's have try it. you have to evade to throw, do you? Uh, no, no. It's just uh, you you can use you're gonna have a plus one because you've got a guy in my area. Yeah. And you can use either or uh, either of these guys to uh, do the you actual stop. intercept. Okay, so we got Donald and we got Morik, and the intercept on a pass is on a pass is skill. So Morik. Oh, I just is realized. Three. One, two, three, three, four. Shoot. So you're not only going to get those bonuses, you're going to get an extra one because I just realized the range of the my range. is four, yeah. and Finky's skill is only three, so that's an extra one uh, over. So, so I get one. This is probably not going to work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but I do have a supporting player at least, so I get an extra die. There. So I get how many? Uh, one, two, three. Oh, it's resolved, is it? Um, blah, blah, blah. pass is uh, skill. It's a Sorry. skill. So skill. Blue. Yeah. Blue, so I get three plus one because I'm in your area, which is four, um, and then um, another one, another one because of the distance. So that's five. Um, Whoa! So I'm definitely using the gambit die here. So okay, four plus the one. And I'm going to use Donald. But it's the same; it doesn't matter which one it is. Basically, um, he's not got an infraction, so he, I'm going to have the gambit die as well. So that's literally all my. Oh die. boy! Yeah, I really want this to, to work out for me here. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Let's do this. Oh, that's terrible. Dude! I got two hits only. I got no blocks. Okay, and I one... did get an infraction. I got an infraction as well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so luckily Brickend is this his first warning, so that's okay. Yeah. Um, so I got a partial pass uh, here. So let's see what it says. Place the ball loose in the target's area. Fine by me. Okay. Give it to Finky's feet. Yeah. Uh, you're still okay with your infractions? That was your first one? Yeah, yeah. Uh, four I'm all playing dirty today. Four of my players are on infractions at the moment. This is not going well, yeah? <laughs> uh, that's the end of my turn, so I advance. Oh, thank that. God for that! Your, your final turn. <laughs> it is my final. After this. All right, so let me just... Well, for the period. Yeah, yeah let me just remove uh, uh, one of these from each other. One, two, three. I brought two of those down. Right, okay. Um... Well, obviously, I've got to try and get the ball right now, basically. So I have a uh, few or so. Poor Finky's the worst person. <laughs> trying to protect the ball. Uh, Fiora and uh, Bridget. They're both about the same. So, uh, what is it for a an evade? Oh, hold on a sec. Uh, uh, 
Run. When player with one of your players makes a run action, nominate an area that contains at least one standing player from a team that is not the active player. I know I'm reading this out here. Okay, fine. So, this is good. Um, we are going to make a bit of a run for it with Bridget. And, um, so, she can okay. move two. She's over. She's here. here. Yeah. So, we are going to do that and play Run the Gauntlet as well. Oh, so, here it comes. Yeah, uh, which allows me to nominate one player, and I'm going to nominate Fior. So for the rest of the game, or rest of, um, sorry, for this turn, they can run through and evade, basically, automatically. For for this action, it says. Hold on. Uh, nominate yeah. an area that contains at least one standing player. Hold on. So how does, what does, how does that mean? So if Bridget makes a run action, yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then they nominate another player that can then make a run action and evade automatically. Is that correct? Or uh, no. So basically, is if you're running through that area, like for example, uh, here Donald. Yeah. Uh, if you nominate Donald and your run action makes you run through my space, oh. uh, you don't have to evade. I don't have to do an evasion test or anything for you. You don't have to evade. I uh, get just, it. Right. Donald okay. blocks the way. Oh, you just run through. Okay. No. Right. Okay. So let's move that a little bit different. Then that's fine. Okay, so Bridget is going to move. Take that back. No, I think that, that could work for me. Uh, okay. One, two, and a dash to there. Yeah, okay. So one, two, and a... Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, one, two, and a dash to there. We haven't played that card yet. Um, okay, so yeah. that's uh, one of your actions and... And a uh, fatigue for here. Bridget. Yeah, I just okay. need to put a fatigue on her, which will take her to that. That's cool. Now, oh, she's got her limit. Yeah, but that's okay because I can now take my next action with Donald, who's here. One, two, make him dash. Uh, Donald's down here. Oh, yeah. sorry, not Donald. That's who's Fiora. this? Fiora. That's eight. And two and a dash. Gives it to that. That's okay. Right. Okay. So my next action is with Fiora, but we're going to run the gauntlet. For God's sake! <laughs> what happened? <laughs> you ran through your car instead of the gauntlet. <laughs> Here we go. Let's put Muric back. Um, okay. Okay. Yeah, she was, he was pretty good, I think. Yeah. Uh, so one, two. He, might have had a, 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 he didn't have a warning, did he? N yes, he did. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. There you go. Uh, one, two to there. Uh, which then, if I run the gauntlet, I can then dash. Uh, I can I dash see. with him now. Yeah. Uh, which is who is it? It's Fiora. So I can dash with her and not evade. On two to there. Okay, so that, that, that dash is maximized. Is that was she already at two? No, that's it. That's just, I, I put it on there. That's that's just maximizing oh, okay. it now. Okay. Yeah. So and she has the ball. I assume she has the ball. Yeah. Um, yeah there we go. Uh, what can we do? We could pass. We could try a pass. We're gonna try it. Oh uh, man! If you could do that, and then Donald shoots, that would be yeah, exactly right. So, um, so we're gonna try it. We're gonna try a pass, which is gonna exhaust her after I've done this pass. Uh, and Donald has a a three, so we're okay on that. So, okay, I have um, the, the standing uh, player here. Uh, I don't have anyone in your zone. Uh, no. I don't remember if that matters for the actual catch. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Let me double check you really quick. So look, uh, pass. So pass is uh, resisting yeah. player for each point. Yeah. So it's supporting yeah, player so... in the catching zone, is it? Yeah. No, so I don't have supporting players. They would have to be uh, bugging your there. Oh wow! Okay. But I do. I do get to choose any one of these guys to interact. Yeah. Of course. Well, one of these two. Yeah. Um, hmm. And your range is okay. I'm guessing. With yeah. The range is. Yeah. Picture. Yeah. Okay. Who do I have here? I got Kravok and I've got Brickend. Uh, they both have skills of three, so it doesn't matter. I guess. Uh, they're both like, the same fatigue, same warnings. Uh, I'll go with Kravok. Sure. Okay. Uh, so that's only three. That's three, so. and I'm going to add the Gambit die to me as well, so that's three for me. Oof. I, 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 um, I'm not going to add the Gambit die. Okay. Here we go. Blocks. Will it be with me? Ooh, three blocks. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that didn't right. work so i got two so that's a fail so that drops down in my area doesn't it basically i think it's in, in the is that right uh the opposing manager which is me 
Oh, yeah. Um, the resisting take... player takes possession, or they drop it pretty much anywhere in the path. Um, I, I guess I'll take it. Give it to yeah, Crab Luck. Have it. Have it. Take it. Okay. There is that token. There, there it is. There we go. Who's having Crab Luck? Uh, he's over here. There we go. Fudge! Okay, I got oh, one. That was so close. You could have pulled it up. Well, at this point, is actually, I have it. So you could tackle me, I suppose, with Donald. Yeah, but that just gives me the ball back. Defense. I Basically. have one last turn. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I'm going to have to tackle you. I've got to make it difficult for you. Um, okay. okay, so we'll tackle. Yep. So let's do this for what's his face. Uh, and the tackle for me is. Power. Okay, power. My power is three. Kravok okay. has a resolve of four plus the one from the support. Okay, fine. So five. And I may as well use it's pretty much the last turn he can take anyway, so I'm gonna use the um uh the gambit okay. die. Yep. I will not. Okay. Good. Be with me. Oh no, one block. Uh yeah, one success. <laughs> one uh, but I got an infraction. Um, oh. <laughs> and he's already on yellow. Um, so uh, one. Oh, it's nothing, is it? Basically, so it's a failure. Nothing, yeah, it's, it's a, a failure failed tackle. So uh, you can go prone if you want to make it partial. At which point, I have to choose to either go prone. Or oh, I'm going to do that. In fact, so I will go prone to make it partial. Mm, well, I will. I will also go prone then to drop the ball. Okay, but then I'm going to play this card, which turns a partial into a full success. Oh no, you did my trick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and the full success means that uh, go prone. you go prone. Uh, so that's okay. However, I get an infraction, which turns him red. Right. So, so. Uh, well, either way, actually, if you want to take that back, that card back, it's up to you. But I was going to go prone either way. You were, weren't you? Yeah. Yeah. yeah so okay. you're prone, I'm prone. So it might as well keep the card. Yeah. Yeah. For what it's worth right now, we're yeah. at the end of it. Uh, so when I go red for infraction, do I get moved over to the... Uh, you get teleported. Was it Donald? Yeah. He yeah, goes. you just get teleported to the, the, the encampment briefly. Yeah. Uh, and uh, you can't do anything else at this point. Yep. But it doesn't matter. It's in your turn. Okay. Advance that hourglass, and let's see if the ruffians here can do something. Anything. This so... has been a low-scoring round. Nobody scored on this on this, uh, on this this go, have they, I think? Yeah, All yeah. All the scoring I mean, was sometimes... in the first phase. Sometimes it just happens that way. All right. Well, Brickend here, he sees the ball. Well, first off, let me clear some fatigue. I'm always too eager to get the game going. But all right. So who do I need to make stand up here? Um, don't need him. Ravok, not so much. All right. Brickend will take the first action. No. So Brickend takes the first action to run and grab the ball. He has a run of two. One, two. Over here. He's already had the max of his uh, health here, but um, hmm. Finky, Finky, Finky. Poor little Finky. Actually, not before I even do that, let's backtrack one second. I keep doing this, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, do this. I'm actually going to have Finky try to evade our friend Bridget there first and run out. So he's going to do a run, an evasion of agility of three. So your resolve with Bridget is what you need to check. Uh, right, okay, one second. My resolve with Bridget is um, uh, three plus one resolve for each friendly guardian in the same row. Yeah, unless... we're alone. Yeah. So three. Uh, I, 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 I don't know. Do I want to use the gambit die here? This is tough. Um, if I use the gambit die and succeed, it'll c kill my plan. So I can't. I'm not going to use the gambit die. Okay, I'm not using it either because I've got most of my players off the pitch. Well, one of them off the pitch already. So yeah. Okay. Here we go. Blocks for me. Yes. Uh, okay. So I got a cock die. I'm going to move this. There we go. So yes. Three hits. Five you blocked it all. Eh? Five blocks. Yeah. Ooh. All right. So basically, my run action ends, and I can choose to take um, fatigue. To keep moving. I will not. Okay. Um, so Brickend. Oh, I have no one standing. Okay, let's see. Um, or, this is tough no matter what I do. Okay, Fron the Howler will take a fatigue out of turn to stand up. Oh. Ramon, why do you keep doing this? There we go. He's got two fatigue. Now, uh, so he stands up. And he's going to use a action to run. 
Wait, this is making sense here. Am I doing this right? Um, I could do... Oh, I can't even enter that space. So instead, uh, yeah, he'll run, but he'll run over here. What's his run here? Three? One, two, three. Right there. Okay. Uh, hang on. One, two, oh, it's not enough. Who's got the ball? And, yeah, I, I, uh, it's, it's still on the ground. It's still here. on the ground. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's going to take a, 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 a fatigue from the pool to go yeah. over his limit and run into the space where Bridget and uh, Finky are. Okay. So that's the end of his stuff. All right, two remaining actions. He's in the space here now. All right, here we go. So Brickend is going to... Um, oh, no matter what I do, I just realized... He's already played, so he can't, he can't do anything else. <laughs> <laughs> See, the order in which you do your actions is it's so really crucial. important. <laughs> oh, man. Um, so I kind of sort of just did a whole bunch of stuff for nothing, really. But uh, Rick and here, Kravok, everyone is crippled, essentially. All right. Um, uh, all right, let's just stand Kravok up oops, out of... Oh, wait. That's not what I wanted to do. This is so dumb. What am I doing? I'm doing nothing. Um, all your guys were in the way here. So then if Ron, instead of going there, he was here. He would have used his... Uh, he did two moves, essentially. <clears throat> all right. Uh, he would have tried to run this way. So let's just take uh, uh, one step back here because he didn't dash yet, but he has his three fatigue. Backwards playing. <laughs> uh, okay, so he's going to try to evade Morik, essentially. Okay. So let's do an evasion test because he wants to get to the next space over here. Uh, if I was here, I could have gone Mark, one, two, three. Not it's, enough. It's yeah. resolve, is it for evasion, I think? Uh, is that right? There yes, you your resolve, my agility of three. Okay. Um, and uh, I'm not going to roll the gambit. I think Morik should be uh, exhausted, by the way. I think uh, when we put them back, it should be that way. Okay, oh, yeah. so four. Yeah, okay. Do I get four? Okay. No. I'm not rolling the gambit. Okay. Fair enough. Are you? Nope. All right, here we go. I got to evade. I need to do this. Oh, balls. Oh, no. Two. One. Partial success evasion. I think I can just make it... I can eke it out. Um... The active player loses any remaining moves and stays in the area, but they can dash to evade again. Ah, all right. Well, I guess we'll do it. So we'll do the original plan. He is dashing no matter what, so he will yeah. get exhausted, and then his move is going to end no matter what. So here we go. This has to work. Are you using the, are you using the gambit, Dan? At this point, yes. Okay, me too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I might get ejected from the game, but that's okay. Here we go. Here then. we go. Got to get out of here. Oh, no. Two. And yeah, I got this. Uh, no, no blocks, but I got that. That means I get so two. zero times two is zero. Oh, so I, still... I make it out with a partial, I think. Yeah, which means oh, no, it's the same thing. Same thing. I lose remaining moves. I stay in the area. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> oh man, yeah, I'm clearly not a great tactical yeah. player here. So, all right, well, here we go. I'm just gonna do this then. Brickin hasn't done anything. He's gonna run, grab the ball, but runs for two. Uh, he's gonna basically throw. And hope for a goal. Okay, um, so I get to block with... And um, exhaust himself in the bridge process. And for shooting and blocking, it is skill. So Bridget is going to roll three. One, one, two, three, four, five, six. This is brutal. How am I going to do oh, this? How, how many do I get extra then? Sorry, it's on there. Uh, so his... It, man, it's going to be uh, one, two. over two. Six, I say. One, two, three, four, five. Six. So four extra dice. Four extra dice. I don't have four extra dice, basically. So no, she... just remember. Or right, here, we can just clone them. Yeah. Uh, she's going to have oh, what's it for shooting. Um, yeah. Skill uh, is uh, is the one. So it's three plus four. Uh, excuse There's me, no seven. There's no way this is going to happen. <laughs> three, four, five, six. Seven. All right. I'm not going to use the um, the gambit die. And so Bridget is the one that's blocking. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you know, yeah, I'm going gonna... I'm gonna to use the gambit die. <laughs> <laughs> Rub the salt in the wound. Yeah. I'm gonna try it. This is just not gonna work. Okay. But... Let's do this. If this can somehow pass, this would be amazing. I got one, two, three, four, five. 
Uh, I get one, two, three, four, five, six blocks ah. and an infraction, though. So, um, well, I guess that was worth uh, it. Well, something. She uh, she gets flipped over to that. She gets teleported to there, but she stops. In <laughs> so, oh man, I was going for that hail mary, but it was uh, I, yeah, oh, wow. I, I didn't use my actions properly, or that, or I was trying to do something, but Finky not being able to move just. <laughs> And I just lost all control of like my plan. I was like, what am I doing? Right. All right. So, End of period. Period. Final period. period. I get to go first again because of... Um... Yes. Oh, you're one point behind, behind. because of that. Yeah. It's anyone's game still. Uh, I didn't use that card. Did I? No, I didn't end up using that count. Now, this is hard. I have... Uh, so anyone that is currently in the bench that is exhausted is now fresh. flipped over. Yeah. So... So oh, yeah. here's what we're going to do then. We are going to remove... Uh, Donald. Oops. For Lars. Thank you very much. So oh. Donald can come away. Finky, anyway. you were nice, but... And Bridget... Oops. Sentinel Guardian Charger. Oh. Yeah. Fron the Howler has disappointed me too many times. <laughs> it's got a great name, but that's it. it. He just gets nowhere else from there, basically. Oh, yeah. No, actually. Gotta make sure to keep their. Mm, and while I brickened or Shigur. It's good. Mm. Actually, no. It's good, Shigur. Let's see. Uh, this is going to be crucial. Yeah. Really you should have the right it. tactics. Okay. So we have... It's Lars. I'm essentially back to my starting team, but... Very tempted to use an exhausted guy, but... Um, that would be tough. Mark. I do have my timeout at least, maybe. Ah, <sighs> okay. Let's get some uh, good tactics here. This is somebody, Morik, Donald, Bridget. Oof. So the interesting thing is that the mix of your faction and your focus is what determines what cards go in your tactics deck. Okay. So because I'm a what was it, devious, I have certain devious tactics. But right now I'm like, oh, I could really go for like something more nimble, but... Uh, let's, let's have a look here. So what have I got? Um, we have... Oh, do I want this? That's tough. I'm going to try this. Let me try this. So you put them all again, huh? Yeah, some... Choosing these cards is kind of uh, just making sure you got the right one, isn't it? Basically. Yeah, you gotta be like, all right, is this my plan for the, the turn? <laughs> and you know, am I the aggressor? What are my stats like? All right, let's go with uh, oof, okay, I'll right go here. Eastern. Okay, I'm ready. Whoa. Gladiators, ready. <laughs> <laughs> Um, let's do this. Okay, so it's the last, last period. This is it. I'm going to go first. Oh, do you get ready for this? That's your that, that's your placement. That's an interesting placement. Mm -hmm. And uh, the ball is yours, wherever you it want to It is, put. indeed. Yeah, put that in there. Let me zoom my camera out here again so I can see what I'm doing. There we go. Let's uh, I'm gonna put my guys back in their bench here so they can watch... As my team takes the victory, I'm sure it's going to happen. 
Okay. All right. So you do have your timeout if you'd like to call it, of course. But I mean, we just uh, period. yeah, we just starting the period, so that's okay. Fine. Um, right. So let me just get Celia right. She's got three. One, two, three. That's good. Okay. Cool. First thing I'm going to do is we're going to move Cecilia, and we're going to go one, two, three into there. Uh, the lion's den. Yeah, the lion's den, laddie. Uh, uh, okay, and then we are going to um, just move Bridget, I think. Yeah, we're just going to move Bridget one, uh, one of hers as well. So one, two. Then we're going to move Lars. And he's going to move four with the ball. One, two, oops, three, four into there. Knocking everybody over in the process. He's like, even his friends. <laughs> drunk Lars. Away. Yeah. Then Lars oh, is going to throw. Uh, yeah, because he's got a, uh, a. If you look at this, he's going to shoot. Uh, it's a skill. He's got a skill of three. That's okay. So we'll put that on there. Uh, and he's going to shoot. And he's got a plus one in there. So he's in four. four. Okay, well, Gultran is my only hope. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, range is three, so he's good with that. So, oh, boy. Yeah. Three three dice, huh? Um, yeah. Let me read one thing really quick. Okay, so what's your total roll? Four. For? Four, yeah. Are you using the Gambit die? I'm going to use the Gambit die, I think, yeah. <sighs> Gultran is technically warningless. Why not? Let's do it. Okay. I will also use it. So four for me. Uh, oh, sorry. The range, obviously, is... Uh, uh, it hits your skills, so you're... Yeah. Uh, sorry. No, sorry. It is one over two. I keep forgetting. When it's a goal, two is what you have to check. So yeah. uh, the range is three, so I do get a bonus die. You get a bonus die. Yep. Yes. There we go. Okay. All right. This sure. time, Goltran and Fate shall block your... your, your you boss. say that. <laughs> Here we go. Three, two, one. Give me all the hits. Oh, three blocks. Okay, right. So me, I got um, wow, two hits and a uh, uh, an infraction. However, however, uh, I can play a little look, which allows me to play this card after rolling the dice pool for an action test to re-roll any number of check dice, not the gambit dice, my roll. So I'm going to get the infraction. It's going to get sent off, but I've got two successes there. So let's just re-roll these. Oops, like that. these four die, and just see what happens. So you, you got two successes, huh? Three, four successes now. Ooh, uh, uh, minus get? the three. So that's a partial so success. One, it's a partial. Hold on, uh, on a... and then I'm going to play <laughs> this card, which allows me to treat my partial success as a full success. No. <laughs> Good combo. <laughs> yeah. Good combo tactics. All right. Well, okay, there so... it goes. Through the hoop. Boom. But he just gets sent uh, off. Um, actually, yes, the penalty kicks in. Yeah. But you do get your two I do get my points. two points, yeah. You're in the lead. Yeah. Oh, no, the ruffians fans. <laughs> but there's grog and all sorts of different ales just being thrown on the field. Brilliant. Ooh. Yay! Okay, <laughs> next round, Europe. Where does the ball go? A uh, ball goes in the gate, my gate. Uh, there we go. Oops. If you had anybody in my area, they'd be teleported, but that's There's not the case. There. there we go. Over to you. <laughs> right. Well, all right. Let me get some action tokens here. Four of them. Uh, all right, boys. We gotta we gotta play fast and loose here. Um. In the lead, in the lead. Come on, you don't hold anvils, don't hold anvils. Uh, okay, what's my plan? What's my plan? Yeesh. All right, we're gonna have Rut Grot. Yeah. Um, charge by running here. One, two, three into Bridget's area. Okay. And then he will attempt a um, a uh, tackle. Yeah. Tackle. Yes. A tackle. Uh, Bridget is uh, resolves. So that's three. There's no other thing in her role, so that's just a three there. That's cool. Okay. Uh, he gets four. Okay. And I will not be using the gambit die. Okay, I'm not using it either. There we go. Hold on one sec. Alrighty. One sec. Hold on. Okay. Uh, no, it's too early for this tile. Okay, let's do this. Ooh, I got uh, six hits. Wow, I got one block. All right, so that was a tackle success. There we go. Okay. 
Now, Gultran is going to um, ascend. Oh, sorry. Should go. These actions are so limited. I need to like really, really plan it. Where's Mervog? There's Mervog. That's what I was looking for. Let's do this. Mervog is going to run and grab the ball in the process. Okay. And he's going to use his uh, special action, which is lob it. Um, pick any area on the board that is not a bastion, and uh, you would choose to place that ball loose um, in the area or in an adjacent area. So okay. essentially, that's my last action. I grab this, I'm lobbing it. Um, essentially, here. Okay. Ooh, I see what you're doing there. So do you want to keep it there, or do you want to put it in an adjacent I'm area? I'm going to put it just there. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and that's the end of my turn. Okay. Um, on to three. I kind of did something really dumb there, but hey, maybe... Uh, <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> maybe it'll work out. So we'll get rid of uh, fatigue from there. Fine. Uh, so I, for me to bring Lars back on, uh, it's an action, isn't it? Yeah, it's his first action, which is a move, essentially. So we shall do that. Uh, we'll bring oh, Lars back on. I can just hear on. the people at home oh. screaming, Scott, what did you do? <laughs> With Lars, there he is. Uh, and there we go. We've got one, two, pick the ball up, three, four into there. Um, uh, middle field, right? Middle field, is it? Right, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. One, two, three, four, that's right, yeah. Then we think uh, we're going to exhaust him to dash. Mm -hmm. That's what I thought. Yeah. I didn't even like think of that. I, I saw him on the bench like afterwards. I'm like, oh, no. Uh, that's uh, wide open. Which gives me one, two, three into there. And can I... Uh, uh, oh yeah, because he's exhausted. exhausted. Oh, and that's uh, it now, isn't it? He, he he was exhausted prior to. No, the I, 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 I no, I've just done it now. That's that's the exhaust. That's just all exhausted him now. Okay, yeah. so his move before uh, flipping was four, correct? Yes, that's right. Yeah. So you actually just ran into the oh. bastion, I think. Oh, I did, didn't I? Yeah, yeah, that's right. It was four. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Which is why I was like, so that's oh. uh, that's another that's five for that's me. That's five then. points. Oh my god! Here we go. We're on eleven. This is this is uh, running I think, away. <laughs> I think this is the end for for me. But here we go. So you lose the rest of your turn. Yeah. Um, Lars is back in the uh, encampment. Encampment. I get the ball over here. Okay. We advance the marker to me. Oh wow! Now I really, 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 really have to play smart here. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna clear fatigue. And I got. I have to push my guys to the limit. Push it to the limit. <laughs> <laughs> so eighties. <80s. laughs> uh, okay, let me see here. Is this? Uh, you Rock know, has this. When contra comes, that is exactly the uh, the soundtrack that's going to be playing in the background <laughs> for me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. Oh, you know what? Um. Before I even started my turn, I would have played cover the field. So this is okay. a thing that says when I start my recover, I get to recover an additional fatigue on anyone on. On one additional guy in the uh, my team's half, middle field row, and the opposing team's half. Okay. So essentially, um, Mervog here gets to uh, and and Rutgrot. And Rutgrot. Yep. Okay. Yep. So, uh, for actions, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? I gotta get it in there. I mean, I could just keep going for like two pointers, <laughs> but the problem is a two pointer ends my turn, and that yeah. I have very limited turns left. So I gotta I gotta go nuts here. All right, Mervog has the ball. He's Mervog throw the ball. Oh, sorry, he has to pick up the ball as part of the yeah. action. So it's it's actually loose. So here we go. It might work in my favor. Mervog is in a run. Uh, he's a run of three. So one, two, three with uh, Shimura oh, nice. over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can get the extra um, support. Player. Um, and he is going to toss it. He's going to toss it to Rutgrot. Yeah, no yeah, choice. yeah. Uh, so that was Mervog, I said. Mervog, One, two, there we go. Three. Uh, the skill is four. Uh, the range is fine there. Uh, yeah. Oh, actually, Rudgrot, uh, what's his catcher? He's three, yeah, it's okay. He's still okay. Yep. So, yeah, so I got my four with Mervog plus the one with Shigura, so five dice. Uh, you have uh, Cecilia, essentially, as an interceptor because she... Oh, yeah, okay, For, she was there, right, okay. And uh, Cecilia is it's Resolve, isn't it? Um. Yes. Yeah, so that's three for me. Okay, cool. Right. 
I'm not gonna use the. Uh, she Murdoch will use the gambit die. I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use the gambit die. Okay. <sighs> Hold there on. Go. Just bear with me. Oh. No, she's all threes. Okay. Cool. You good? Yep. All right. Watch this incredible pass to Rutgrod. One, uh, two, three, four, five. Two, and an infraction. So that is a full success. Rutgrod catches the ball. Like in his teeth, <laughs> crowd goes wild. Yay! <laughs> All right, so I got two actions left. Rutgrot, um, yeah, he's gonna he's gonna make a run for it, I guess. So he is going to first run. Uh, who we got here? Fiora. Oh, if Stern is a guardian. He probably has better resolve. I'm guessing. Uh, Stern, they both got three, basically. Yeah, yeah. Uh, although, yeah. Um... Yeah, and that's uh, still. I'm gonna go with Fiora. Okay. I I, I see what you I, I I see in your mind's eye maybe what you're <laughs> gonna do here. So Red Grot's gonna run his three to Fiora. One two three. Yeah. And uh, he's gonna he's gonna dash, dash. Uh, which means evade, doesn't it? Basically. So yes. And I got my resolve, which is three. Oh, where's Fiora? He's agility of four. Oh. What's this? She's threes all the way through. All right, she's going to use the, uh, uh, well, maybe. I don't know. Uh, I, 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 uh, who is this? Red Cross? Oh, no. I'm not going to use it. You know, I am. I'm okay. I can't afford to have him leave. Okay, there we go then. Oh, yes. <laughs> One, two, three, it. four, five, ten. What? <laughs> Oh, man, even if I were to re-roll... Right, hang on a second. If you got 10, if I were to get, let's say, another 6, 4... Yeah, it would be like... That's crazy. I need to get... Yeah, I can't do it. All right, well, um, I'm just going to, you know, not push my luck. So that was an evasion fail. Fail, which, which is... Which says um, I have to choose either get fatigue or go prone. Yeah. Oh uh, shoot! I could go. I could take fatigue, which would exhaust me. I, I, I'll, I'll do it. Oh, but he can't take any more actions either. Oh man! You, you just killed it. You just killed it. <laughs> uh, I was, I was gonna have him throw the ball as like a final, you know, um, test. But I can't even do it. If I, if I take fatigue, I go exhausted. I can't do anything else with him. <sighs> okay, let's, uh, let's, 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 let's go prone, I guess. I dropped the ball. Okay. Um, and what's your last action? Last action. I have to get um, Gultran here, I guess, uh, in position. Okay. But even then, like, yeah, no matter what I do, it's not a good it's thing. Opening, All right. It's opening stuff up, yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay, advance to your turn. Okay, fine. Right. Oh, that didn't go my way. Uh, that was an incredible roll. Jeez. <laughs> ten. <laughs> ten, ten. That's like the maximum I could have got from that. That would be the best roll that could have happened. So, um, okay. So we're on. Your you, you, your part of the crowd goes wild for sure. Yeah. On that. Uh, what's the pass? The receiving pass is no. So what's my move on Lars? Three. Uh, one, two, three. Uh, Cecilia is. Anyways, that's it. Oh, no, it's Fury, isn't it? Uh, uh, balls. She's just two. Doesn't really matter who I bring out. Uh, okay, yeah. Two turns left. I have to get two yeah. field goals, essentially. Here we uh, go. Uh, Bastion score as well. We're going to bring Lars Thunder Crack out. Thunder Thunderwick. Wick. That's the guy. Thunder, <laughs> Thunder Crack. Thunder or something. <laughs> and he's going to do uh, one, two, three, and take the ball with him, wherever that is. Oops. Of course he is. Yeah, one sec. Yeah, my guy, I'll just fix him here. Yeah. Yeah, okay. There we go. He's back on there. Oh, oh he's actually prone for real. <laughs> <laughs> it worked. <laughs> oh, I was going to move him, but I know there's a way to tip people over. I just don't know the key. And then the next thing he's going to do is he's going to pass uh, to uh, Cecilia, I think. Yeah, so. Interesting. Yeah, well, he's because he's exhausted. He, uh, oh, yeah, 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 he can't really do much there. Uh, hold on. One, two, three. Oh, actually, and then Cecilia could. She's going to make a run off. Yeah, okay. So we're going to dash then, uh, just to make sure. All right. Oops, just make it there. So he's going to dash to go one, two, three. One, two, three. And there. Let me know that's there. 
Mm-hmm. She She's is going ball. to uh, just move and pick the ball up. Alrighty. One, two. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's assume Increasing she's got... that lead. Yeah. Uh, just move back there. And then she's just going to shoot. I mean, why wouldn't she shoot at that point, basically? Pretty much. Yeah. So, um, I, I shoot. It's three. Um, that would be over two, that, wouldn't it? One, two, three. Yeah. So, right, she's just going to shoot then. Yeah. And she may as well so, use the um, pinky die. Yeah. Let's just make sure. Uh, I have no, no sort of fate block here because the distance is fine. So, no. yeah, it's Hold all up to you. One second. And she's all threes, isn't she? Yeah, okay. You need three successes. One, two, three. I got him. Oh, uh, again. Yeah, it did indeed. Yeah. <laughs> two That's more points two for more. blue. Oops. That's three millions. There we go. And the whole arena is upset. She goes into, uh, into there. Yeah. To your there. there. Yeah. And this ball stays there. Yeah. Oh, boy. Ooga, ooga. So even All right, so you're, you're, at, you're at 14 right now. I am at six. So even with I have to oh, I, if I can land two field goal or two bastion goals and and prevent you from scoring I could actually pull this off. I'm at thirteen. Yeah. So Thir- oh, thirteen. I'm at fifteen. Right. So yeah. If I get ten, oh boy, oh boy, can I even do this? Let's see what happens. <laughs> uh, you, you advance the marker. I remove yeah. the fatigue. Oops. Ugh. Hmm. You and your blockers over there. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Uh, okay. This is this is ugh. uh okay. Okay there's at three. He could dash. Oh my god. This is terrible. Alright. And the worst part is I have one more turn after this, so I yeah. have to like not blow my my, fat- my fatigue limit here. Um hmm. Kravok. Go big or go home. Come on. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I'm, I'm essentially wasting my guardians a bit, but here we go. Kravok is going to take my... Oops, I forgot my action tokens here. Three remaining. Uh, Kravok is the first action. He's going to run for two, essentially going one, two, back to where back he was. Back to where he was, yeah. Um, and then he will toss it by passing, sorry, to um, Shigura or Mervog. Mervog, oh, his fatigue is pretty bad. Shigura it is. Shigura is going to be the catcher, sorry. So um, range is two. We're fine with that. Uh, there's no one to interfere, so it's just on me to not fail. Uh, so Kravok has a three. Here we go. Do it. Oh, my God. What am I doing? Three successes. Oh, yeah. yeah I, you're doing nothing, nothing pretty much. Yeah. Oh, come on. Oh, wait. Whew. A little luck. I also have that card, so I get to reroll a die. <laughs> so hopefully not fumble. <laughs> Like, come on. Oh, Oops, I had a success on that. Okay. Oh, oh, oh God. God. <laughs> well, okay, I don't know which one was which, but we'll assume I, I failed the dog. Yeah, I think that was okay. a, that was the one that was already a success, so yeah. yeah. So right now, I think that just cost me the game, to be I, honest. I'm um, pretty certain. Unless, hang on, hang on, where is he? Oh, Mervo, you're too far. I don't think like it's mathematically possible for me to use my actions here and get that ball. You can't use any of the special actions that they have or anything? I, I could lob it with Mervog, but he's over here. He's too far. I could go. It would be my two actions. I could lob it over there, but even then I need to score a, a touchdown essentially this round, but I don't think it's going to happen. Uh, I don't think it's possible. Nope. So I think at this point... You're conceding. I, I, I'm conceding. Yeah! I don't think... I can do it. Oh, uh, wait, my timeout, does that help at all? I don't oh, you have a so. timeout, yeah, yeah. I have a timeout. I don't think it would have made a difference. I would have to use that at the start of my turn either way. So, yeah, no. The the ruffians have lost. Yes. It was going well, but then those last few points, I made a big mistake at the end, and it cost me the game. I'm sure I would have scored at least another 10 points in the next two goes anyway. So, uh, I, you know. So, well, we, next we meet out on the field, <laughs> yeah. and uh, my guys reach out for a friendly handshake, but then they all... Turn into fists and punch you right in the face. <laughs> oh, man. I'll tell you what, Scotty. That is a lot of fun to play. There's a lot of kind of uh, quick-fire tactical decisions that you have to make on the fly for this. It's a really, really... And it's, it's pretty simple to play. Once you get the rules down, there is, you know, it's uh, it's not a complicated game at all, is it? 
Yeah, we wanted to keep the actions limited in the sense that, you know, you didn't have to think of, you know, 20 different actions you can do, right? Yeah. So you can run, you can tackle, and you can throw the ball in two different ways, pass yeah. or shoot. And, uh, yeah, it, 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 it keeps the game, you know, flowing. Uh, we also, that's why we don't have, like, resets every time someone scores, you yeah. know, as much as a back and forth. Um, the tactics cards really uh, are a great weapon, so you really yeah. have to get, you know, to know those. And then depending on the focus and the faction you've chosen, you'll have access to different tactics. Yeah. But yeah, all, overall, uh, solo is totally uh, in the game as well, so we're going to have robust AI systems for each team. Excellent. Uh, and there, it'll be like, you know, uh, there's a risk gauge, it's called, so depending on how badly they're winning or losing, the AI team will take more risks, essentially. So it's very cool, very dynamic. It keeps you on your toes. There's league play, which is also included in the box, which we're really excited about. Um, so you can have tournaments and stuff with, with your friends uh, to see how you go. And you can even have tournaments against the AI, which is very cool. Fantastic. Um, and you progress your characters, so you even have ability cards you can buy in between games, and you get more abilities. And I'll, I'll let you to, to discover that uh, on the uh, Kickstarter, of course. And I think, you know, the variety in the teams themselves, we saw from moving that first period to the second period where we made changes. We scored in the first period, second period, there were no scoring, I don't think. And then in the third yeah. period, obviously, some of those changes really kicked in. Uh, and, you know, I brought my fast guys out, and that's what I wanted to do in that third period, just mm-hmm. get that ball mm-hmm. up the field. I was looking yeah, for Yeah, that Lars guy, he's, he's, a, he's a dangerous weapon. I've got a couple of heavy hitters too, but I, w- I wasn't using them to their full potential, unfortunately. <laughs> I really, really, really enjoyed that. So this comes to Kickstarter, obviously, on the... 21st, as you say. Yep. Yep. Uh, and is it kind of following the standard previous pricing model uh, there or thereabouts? Or? If you've seen any of our previous Kickstarter <laughs> campaigns, a blacklist, you'll know exactly what the price is going to be, pretty much. <laughs> you'll have a good idea. <laughs> and fulfillment, we're what, looking 12, 18 months post Kickstarter for fulfillment? I believe uh, it's going to be November 2022 yep. uh, that's going to be stated yep. on there. So, yeah, roughly a year ish. And I'm really looking forward to see. I've seen, obviously, some of the. Um, uh, some of the 3D renders of the minis uh, that are posted on the on the uh, Facebook page as well, and they're they're looking really really good, and people are going to have a lot of fun with with uh, uh, with painting those. Brilliant. Yeah, thing. yeah. There's some really really cool ones that uh, let's just say haven't been shown yet. Yeah. Um, I'm very excited for people to see some of the the the, the, the crazier ones. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Look, Scotty, thank you very much for taking me through that. That's been an absolute pl- an absolute pleasure to play so fast. And I'm glad that I kind of kicked your ass at it as well, basically. So... <laughs> <laughs> I'm never going to live it down, but you know what? One more game. Let's go for one more game, buddy. I'll get you this time. Yeah. That was a tremendous amount of fun, Scotty. Thank you very much, mate. Anytime. Okay, take care. See ya. 